Lock Lock here. Yeah. Nerds in the hood. Live and direct. Live and direct. You know what it is. Hey, Mom yo. is in the building. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Where is your lighter? <laughs> I could have sworn I threw yeah. a lighter for you earlier. Yeah, I got, I got, oh, okay. I was like, yo. Like, uh. See, I got a backup door. Okay, yeah, clearly. <laughs> it's your. <laughs> it's your usual Thursday shenanigans going on on the last Thursday of July, fellas. Summer is officially uh, over. Is it? Almost. Man. It is for me. My birthday passed. When my birthday <laughs> passed, summer's over. I don't care about none. Nothing else matters no more. No, no, I'm playing. Uh, here we are. Episode 29. 29 weeks of this, bro. 29 yeah. weeks? 29 weeks. We have... Uh, I think it's half, half a year? Like six weeks yeah, it's like half a year. Yeah. It's, half, it's 52 weeks, right? In a year? Right? It's like a little... Yeah? Well, half 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 that? That's like, what? We didn't half a year? Yeah, we were in 27 20, months? 21, yeah, yeah. Seven months in. And here we are. So, yeah. We, as you can see, sorry, I had to get the IG set up. As you can see, we're not in our normal hood once again. Because we decided to travel a little bit and take a trip. And we took a trip to another hood, ladies and gentlemen. The nerds in the hood are traveling once again. Because you already know the vibes. It's your boy Marv Lat. Hey, Sean here. And McGee. And here we are doing it again. And we have a special guest with us. Go yeah, ahead and introduce yeah. yourself, brother. I'm Ralph. Ralph, you already know. AKA the instigator. You know the it. instigator. Oh, the ink. Ink. I was like, instigator. No, <coughs> ink. Ink. You gotta make oh. sure you understand it's ink. ink. You, gotta, okay. you got the ink, boy. Tattoo okay. artist, my man, Ralph. Right. Doing big things always on the block. Okay. So we, we welcome you, sir, to Nerds oh, in the Hood. Appreciate it, appreciate it, dog. Although, technically, this is not your first episode. Am I right? I mean, yeah. I <laughs> that. <laughs> it's like a lay down, extra. It's like an extra one, you know? Laying down. That's a fact. Uh, I was like, I, I had to throw that out there, folks. If you don't remember, uh, when we did our 420 Aunt McGee celebration, uh, he was one of the guests that we kept mentioning was the guy on the couch. <coughs> that uh, He was the guy on the couch and he did not want to be seen. He did not want to be heard. And he did that. He made sure he was quiet, but at the same time, he made sure we nobody saw him at all. And now, he decided to grace us with his presence. Yeah, yeah. Because he said, I want to do a solo. I don't want to be a featured guest. I want to be the guest. Facts. Yeah. Am I correct to assume that? No. Nah. I mean, you know, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. So, uh, we're going to do something different, folks. You've seen this segment before, but now it's back again. We are starting our show with some. HSA News. Oh. All that? Hey, Sadus. Hey, Sadus. Yeah. Uh, hey, Sadus. What you bringing? What you bringing to the plate today? To the table, yeah? man. What you bringing? What you bringing, bro? Uh, you got some. You got some dish in? Yeah. Well, kind of. We got some a weird, very weird topic. Uh oh. Oh. So this, this is video game news right now. Video game news. So Capcom is celebrating their 25th anniversary of Resident Evil. And every every like five years or so, however many years they want to celebrate their anniversary, they always come up with some wild product. Uh oh. And this year they they took the cake. They're coming out with a perfume line. A perfume mm. line. Perfume. Now you now you lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he wasn't lying, but this is some wild news. Yeah. <laughs> it's very real. They're they're making three perfumes based off three characters, which is the characters they always usually go with, which is Leon. Chris and Joe. Oh, you, t- you just said a perfume line and two of them are niggas? Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> two of them are dudes? I thought you was going to say, like, like Chung Lee or something. Yeah. No, it was only on Resident Evil. Oh, okay. Resident so, Evil. Yeah. So what happened to their new chick? Chung Veronica. Chung Veronica. There's only- I-, I thought you said Capcom, that's why. <laughs> Marvelous Capcom perfume. <laughs> Marvelous Cap- that's why I was a little confused. Like, what? That's too wild. That's too wild. I, miss- I missed the Resident Evil part. My fault. My nah, you good, you good, you good, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. So... Uh, when these perfumes drop, I'm not sure what to see. Make sure y'all check out when Aishan says the perfume drops. Get it, get it for your significant other, fellas. <laughs> Let her know that she gonna smell like your favorite video game. 
The lady's gonna be like, I know what to get him. Damn, girl, you smell like. Yo, so wait, so so you said Resident Evil, Resident Evil, perfume, perfumes, and two of them is named after niggas. Yeah, that's hey, crazy. Yo, <laughs> that's crazy. You know how sad that is? Yo, I got my girl smelling like Leon. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, got my first son like Leon. I'm fighting a nigga. What? Who the fuck is Leon, yo? Yeah. Is he Leon? I guess it's better than smelling like E Honda, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right, you're right. It's better than yeah. smelling E Honda. Ah, like, you give your girl perfume like that. Yeah. Yo, this is that E Honda shit. E Honda, girl. She'll be like, you just bought me something for a car, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> the hell is this? E Honda. There's yeah. no release date yet. Okay. But I'm guessing since uh, this marks the anniversary, it'll be coming out sometime this year. Sometime this year. And yeah, look forward to that. Look forward to that. Okay, what else we got in H-Town News? Smelling like your favorite. Smelling like your favorite <laughs> resident Thomas Thomas Slayer, basically. Smelling <laughs> like your favorite Thomas Slayer. <laughs> that would be mad funny, yo. But I still can't get over that, yo. Smelling like a little Leon up in Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. She know me, nigga. So um, moving on to what else we got? What we got? Some modeling kit news. Modeling kit news because we know you love the kits. Yeah. Kits. You kits. See, you see my kits every now and then on our show. Mm-hmm. So there's another. Like, I guess it's an anniversary. I guess it's like debuting the last final film. Mm-hmm. A company has decided to make crayfish models with the Evangelion theme. So you get Ava One and Ava Two. You know, the, the purple and the green, okay. the red and the orange, uh-huh. in a crayfish. What? <laughs> <laughs> <It's a ton laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> so, are so, so run that back again? <laughs> they're, they're model coats that you can build, but they're crayfish. You're building an anatomically correct crayfish, hmm. colored in purple and green and red and orange. Now, that doesn't, that doesn't sound too bad, I guess. It doesn't sound too bad, but when you really think about it, it's crayfish. <laughs> well, it's, it's, but if you have, if you ever heard of the 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 SB lines, the the uh, the the lobsters, the purple lobsters, I think it was the purple lobsters, the pink lobsters. The, like the, there's like a bunch of lines of sneakers that are named after fucking lobsters. Yeah. It has nothing to do with lobsters, bro. <laughs> the only thing it has to do with lobsters is literally the rubber band that they put on the toe of it when you buy the shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> and, when, and you're not supposed to wear it with the rubber band. You're supposed to take it off and wear it outside. Like who the fuck gonna wear it with these big ass rubber bands? But they put when you open the box, there's a rubber band on the fucking toe of the shit. So like, that's, I mean that's that's one of the things. I guess I guess it's going along that same lines. Like these weird random seafood fish things that have fucking to do with whatever the fuck they choose. Yeah. Like, yeah, alright, whatever, fucking crayfish. Yeah, that's basically it. It's like, yeah. yo, we ain't got nothing, but we got these crayfish. Yeah, that's, like, <laughs> that's funny. That's like, I went to the Nike store the other day, and they have they have a crayfish Nike shirt too. And like, you check and like crayfish on there. Yo, so we about to see, see like a thing, you know? We about to see crayfish up. It's we about to see crayfish mad up. crayfish up. Watch, you heard it here, bro. I'm telling you, revolution. Right here. revolution. Yeah, uh, it's about to get crazy. Okay, so we got we got new modeling kits. We got resin perfume. We got anything else? Uh, something will I guess will debut later. The, the Dead Space remake trailer, I guess. The Dead Space remake trailer. Oh, there's a trailer, right? Yeah. Well, okay. It's, it's more of a teaser than a trailer. All right. But, um, I guess you know in the later segment maybe. So is it is it getting the first the first ever Dead Space game or? Yeah, the the first one. Okay. They, they decided. Let's remake this one. Uh huh. But you know, the Dead Space franchise leaves a, a sour taste in a lot of people's mouth because the, they destroyed that franchise. So Dead Space, right? Mm-hmm. The funny thing is that the, I played the first Dead Space, and um, it was a very difficult space game. <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I was like, yo, I was like, this game is no fucking joke. Like, they're real. We really out here playing some fake. Want to be Resident Evil space game, right? Pretty much it. Yeah. But there was some cool ass weapons in the game. <clears throat> but the game was hard as fuck. Some of the monsters were dumb hard, and if you didn't have the right weapon, you were screwed. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Sums it up. I actually agree with you. That was a very hard game. I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking hated it. Every day I played that game, I used to sit there and be like, "Jeez, man," because you would go somewhere and you get stuck. 
Or then you turn around and somebody come out of nowhere like, Rah! you're like, oh, great. All right, I start all over again. I'm already having a hard time beating this game. <laughs> so if you want to get it, you enjoy it, hey, man. Yeah, I love the first Me and Ann will wish you the best of luck. Yo. Yeah, we're going to go with the classic, yo. First two were amazing. Let me get that um, Let me get that username so I can download it. Word. <laughs> <laughs> Word, when you finish, let me know. Let me, let me know, yo. Yeah. I'll download it real quick. It'll save onto my account. Yep. And now I'll tell everybody I beat it. <laughs> yeah, look my trophy. Yeah, I got it. Let me see. Let me see. Screenshot the ending. Oh, alright. Yeah, he, he, he. <laughs> alright. So we got we got some interesting HR news, man. That's, that's it. That's it. That was the news of the week. I got something for you. He <laughs> said <laughs> <laughs> something out of my own story. Nah, we was because we didn't know how many stories you had. No, I have. I found. I found out actually today. I saw an article that said that there is making. They're making another Kingdom Hearts game, but this Kingdom Hearts game is going to be only Final Fantasy characters. They're leaving Disney out of it. I was like, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah bro. I, I read an article today on that. I swear to God. I swear to God. They're making another Kingdom Hearts franchise game, but it's gonna, somehow they're going to leave the Disney characters out of it, which I didn't understand, and it's going to be um, a Final Fantasy type of game. So I'm like, basically it's Final Fantasy, but somehow I think they're going to still call it Kingdom Hearts, so I, I don't really get it. But um, yeah, well, we'll see. That was literally an article I saw today, and I was like, oh, shit. Kingdom Hearts. Sucking season. I thought that shit was fake. <laughs> yeah, see? Shit just dropped, bro. Kingdom Hearts, Random Hearts coming out with a fucking Final Season. Random Hearts. Random Hearts. Random Hearts, yo. Random Hearts. Random Hearts. That's in the title, yo. Random Hearts. In the title right there. Be on the lookout for Random Hearts. Yeah. What did it take? It took like, I think, 18 years to get the third game. Oh, yeah. So, first, yeah, 18 years to get the third game was forever ago. Yeah, ridiculous. <clears throat> the third one I think was decent at best. I mean, I could have probably blazed through it like two days, three days. How which Kingdom Hearts games have you played? I played all of them. Though. Did you beat all of them? Yeah. Nice, nice. Um, which one do you think was the best one? I mean, one is always it's a always classic. The best. Yeah, it's a classic. Yeah, I go I mean, with one too. Two is good as well. And then they have the spin-offs, you know, like two point five and a couple other stories that were decent, but the gameplay was definitely different. I didn't like 2.5 too much, but they said it was better than 2. 1 was the best one to me. I don't know, when they did 2, I felt like they changed up some stuff in there that made the game different, and I'm just not feeling it. The storyline was good, though, I guess. You can watch a video on YouTube about it. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you gotta do. Uh, that's what you gotta do. I did that. <laughs> that storyline is everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. You, like, yeah. yeah. you don't understand what the fuck is happening yeah. in the game. <laughs> I saw somebody explain that shit in 20 minutes, and then even in the 20 minutes, he says that he says towards the end, once he starts explaining like the time traveling and shit, he gets to that part and he stops and he goes, "By now, if you are confused, all you gotta tell yourself is, it's Kingdom Hearts. That's it. Just go with that and you'll be fine. Because all I'm gonna tell you after this, it's a lot of travel, time traveling, and none of it's gonna make any sense." I was like, "Wow, <laughs> dude, wow." The end of part three was like, I don't know, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I was just like, okay, this is what's happening. Okay, beat this guy, beat this guy. Mm-hmm. It was like Sephiroth mm-hmm. and all these other like whole panel, like thirteen months. The never time. ending <laughs> battle, of Sephiroth. That's fucking ridiculous. Bro. Never ending battle. Sephiroth is a yeah. real G, bro. He he actually he he's from Final Fantasy, right? Seven. Dude. Yeah, from mm-hmm. Final Fantasy. Seven. So Seven. that nigga's smoking niggas over there. They jump over the Kingdom Hearts <laughs> franchise and smoke niggas over there. He's like, yo, this unbeatable character, he could go for another game, smoke niggas in there too. He's <laughs> yeah, that DVD. He was in that um the Final Fantasy DVD. Oh, Advent Children. Yeah, Advent Children. Advent Children. It's like Bro, the sequel to the movie. First off, I mean the game. Advent Children made every, back in the day made everyone's TV look like 4K. <laughs> if you ain't know, you was sleeping on it because that shit was a fire DVD. <laughs> fire DVD to own, bro. You was have niggas was on 720p, something like that. Nigga, that shit looked like 4K now. I promise you. When you watched it back then, yeah, yeah, it's it was a way advanced for a DVD. It made everybody see me look nice, nigga. Right. That shit was fire. But he he went in there and smoked niggas in that show too. <laughs> he was in there wilding out, blowing up factories and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Except for so Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy characters, an interesting crossover with interesting Easter eggs. I mean, is it really a crossover? Most of their characters were stolen from Final Fantasy or re or written off of Final Fantasy characters. You know, right? There's barely that's the Final Fantasy expert. There's barely any in the, in the third one. Yeah, see, they, Kingdom Hearts got their majority layout from Final Fantasy. I, I don't really know how, but. 
It's because it's the same company. It's the same company, right? Yeah. But they was they was just like, yo, you can have our characters, but uh, we're gonna put Disney in there. You're like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that Disney did what they do best. They just try to take over. Yep. That's what they're good for. And then they fuck it up in the end. Yep. That's what they're good for. So that's usually how it goes down. The, uh, the gameplay in Final Fantasy VII, the remake, is very similar to Kingdom Hearts, though. It's all like the same, pretty much. Mm. That's true. From what I see, I, I, yeah, I only played like really the first one, and I got lost on the Tarzan level, and I gave up. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> wait, Kingdom Hearts? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wait, man. Did you play the Final Fantasy in the remake? Yes, the yes. The remake was crazy. The remake was crazy. I don't play any Final Fantasies. You bug. <laughs> they're in a the gameplay I don't like. Uh, was that R- RPG? RPG, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's barely an RPG anymore. Like, yeah, it has those RPG elements, but it's straight action, really. Yeah, yeah. walking around fighting. Yeah. yeah. The, <laughs> the new Final Fantasy VII, it has option for RPG or just like regular go through, mm. and yeah, it's pretty good. Final okay. Fan- when did Final Fantasy VII come out? In the original during, during quarantine. No, the original. Or the remake. Remake. Oh, during, during quarantine? Was, during I think I do remember talking to you about that. You was telling me you got downloaded and was playing that shit. Yeah, oh, fucking. Oh, you must have PlayStation Plus. They, when they giving that shit out for free? Oh, this nigga got no, every I, game. I bought, I bought it before. Oh, okay. I bought, okay. My phone, my phone. I bought it as soon as it came. Oh, okay. This nigga okay. do got PlayStation Plus. There was no PlayStation game. Plus for free. Yeah. And I was like, it's late. Yeah, it was a little bit after I bought it. Damn. Damn that but sucks. I needed it, bro. No, that's fair. You know? Yeah, well, I mean, we were locked down. You guys got to do things that make you happy. I was buying everything, bro. So like, just to stay sane. Yeah. Fuck that. That's I was fair. buying See? every Told game. You. Everything. What was cheap, the other, what was another game you bought? Um, shit, dude. I bought the Death Stranding. That is ridiculous. I heard that it's like the first ten hours is very hard, and then once you kind of learn how to maneuver, the story is good. But then I also heard, you know, you're a uh, you're a delivery guy, but I heard don't even do deliveries because it's such a pain in the ass. And as soon as you fall off a mountain or you get hit, all your packages go flying. Wow. And that's it. It's over for you. Wow. You have to literally climb down the mountain, which takes, you know, 10 minutes, grab your package, bring... Wait, is that the space game? With uh, with (laughs) Daryl. With Daryl and and he had the baby. Yeah, but he looks like he's in the astronaut suit. And he has a ladder that he throws in front of him to climb up stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did see that one. So I I saw, you know what I saw? I saw on YouTube someone trying to wild out. He he got mad packages, right? Mm -hmm. And you have to carry weight. So it's a whole balance thing, right? Yeah, Yeah, so he had mad packages dumb high on his shit. And he was like, whoa, whoa. And he started running. And the character started leaning forward and running. He lost balance. All his packages went down the mountain, bro. And then I'm like, how are you supposed to get it? I see my man throwing ladders out, climbing <laughs> down, throwing ropes. I'm like, yo, that's bad work to pick that shit back up. I would have just left it. You know what I mean? yeah. <laughs> Yo, bad work, yo. I didn't I didn't play that game, but I heard I heard is this something with a baby in there? Yeah. 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 Something to do with a baby? Kinda of, sorta, of, yeah. Like the babies like they're like half dead, half alive, and they like and they like see shit that you normally can't see. It's like they're, they're attached to the world of the dead, basically. So they sense these creatures that, you know, basically kill you. Mm. They're they're coming out with the director's cut. So they're adding a bunch of new stuff. For the same game, right? Yeah. There we go. I don't know. I, I must have played it maybe four hours, and I went. I got to, like, I guess it's like the ghosts. They come after you and shit. They knocked all my packages down, and I kind of gave up after that. I, was, <laughs> I died. Oh. And that was it. Fuck it. Next game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, was, what was the next game? You you bought um Cyberpunk, you know, right? Dude, Cyberpunk was good, but I, again, I got it when it first came out, and I think they must have had ten or fifteen updates in like the first couple months. Mm-hmm. And I would go to my boy's crib though. He had the Xbox. What is it? XS or the newest uh, one? Yeah, the uh, X S. Yeah, yeah so he was playing it on there, and it, it was so much better on there. I haven't I haven't finished playing it yet. But, I mean, the story was good. I just wish they did more. I wish they had an online. I mean, the city, like, the city itself is, is really cool. There's mad shit to see. But, you know. Jorge beat the game. Yeah, yeah I love that game. It was, it was a little early. What's what's that gun that you uh, that you get that at first, like, shoots at the legs? Or it's, like, a killer? There's, like, two options. You know? Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about. And it's like if you pick if you Sam, pick the option, Sammy, I think was his name. Yeah, it was a smart gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he talks to you and talks. And he talks mad shit. 
Like every time you try to kill people, mm -hmm. and he just like makes comments. The gun makes comments? Mm -hmm. Cause it's like yeah. it has an AI built into the gun. Mm. It's pretty funny. If you're saying some off the wall shit, that's, that's fire. Yeah, Niggas I mean, like, yo, oh, word, you couldn't do this shit yourself? Bow, bow. I'll smoke these niggas for you. Just sit back real quick. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> like, when they introduce him to the little gun, he starts singing like a Rihanna song. <laughs> and they start talking shit at you at the same time. Like, oh, you must be stupid. Let me, like, dump myself down for you. And then he starts singing the Rihanna song. <laughs> while he's waiting to like load in and shit that's just very funny <laughs> that's, that's, that's funny that's funny as fuck and I, I didn't, that's another game I also did not play I just oh. watched people play I mean I saw you play it a couple times I think maybe that's why I, I fell off the game because every time I came to your house and I watched you play it was glitching <laughs> I was just like what the fuck and then you told me that on the Xbox it was way better I'm like I'm already past it. Like, I was like, and it don't got no online play? I'm like, it's not saying anything I like right now. <laughs> yeah. But then this dude, I, you got a platinum, right? Yeah, a platinum game. Nigga, Ooh. platinum again. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's, that's what you call gaming, nigga. Shit. I definitely, I, I wish it was third person, though. I didn't, I didn't really, I wasn't a huge fan of the first person. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think everything looks so much better, like, Grand Theft Auto way, or even if they haven't like able to switch, you know. Mm. Yeah, I definitely think they rushed it a bit. Yeah, there was something about the game that's just off, man. I, I don't really know. I did, like I said, I didn't get to play it, but every time I watch somebody play, I'm just like, this game was supposed to be the shit, and it's like it feels like it's not. Yeah, yeah it let a lot of people down. Yeah, except my man Platinum over here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that I didn't let that boy down. <laughs> that nigga said glitch where, nigga. Glitch where? All I saw was the game freeze real quick. <laughs> <laughs> turn it off, turn it back on, get back in it. <laughs> He's like, y'all forgot about the old days, Word. I guess. <laughs> sun light, sun light. Oh. <laughs> yes, it does such. <laughs> Blowing the CD. <laughs> All you pray is that you got a good save point. Yeah. Like, I didn't get that far today, so click. <laughs> there, was, there was only one game where you really got mad if the cartridge messed up, you know, and I know you know. Mega Man. Oh, Mega Man, I'm dead. Because you had to put a code in to go back to where you were at every time. You had the page, like, yeah, you had the, like, saves. 197682. You're like, God damn. So if that game <laughs> fucked up, bro, you was just like, whoa. You had to put a code in? Yeah, you had to put a numerical code in that was like, I think it was like, what, like 12 digits or something like, like that? That was like every game back in the day. It just had yeah. just wild ass passwords. Yeah, but Mega Man felt like <laughs> Mega Man felt like a different vibe. That nigga made you tested your memory. Yeah, skills. he tested you. If you didn't write that shit down, you were just sitting there like, no, "There's no way you're <sighs> remembering that shit off memory." Yeah, you had to write it you down. You had to write it down. You had to, nigga, because if you did not, you was definitely sitting there like, "So I killed like five bosses, and now I gotta kill them again." <laughs> like, no, I hate this shit. He was just mad as hell, bro. But uh, speaking of old school shit, man. Jorge, we gotta honor another anniversary of another legend. Another legend. What legend is that? A legend that you love, or that you used to love. An international legend you used to love, but unfortunately, Ant never loved. It's wrestling? You it's not right. wrestling. I don't know how you even got that. <laughs> it, it, it was a TV show, but it wasn't wrestling. He was like, yeah, to do something wrestling. You know a TV show that you love, that you... Uh, Trailer Park Boys? There you go. Fucking trash ass Trailer show. Park Boys are celebrating Yo. 20 years. Uh, you celebrate, you, we, we drink it for a celebration. Right, I'm about to pour my shit out. Yeah, go ahead. No. <laughs> What's her name, Leahy? Oh, you know Leahy? about it? Yeah. 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 Let's go. Dude, that show is wild. I mean... There you go. It is, it's just some... Trailer park shit. <laughs> <laughs> some trailer park boys doing some trailer park shit. Doing some trailer park shit. Trailer park boys doing trailer park shit. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, let's go, Ralph. When I used to live in Phoenix, bro, there's like a couple of trailer parks, and you see some some crazy raunchy shit, dude. Mm. Like you see some wild, off the wall type shit. Just like I mean, you'll see like random shit in the city, but you know, especially like you know, some fucking inbreds being there. Fucked up. Sorry. You, you at least want to toast one up for Mr. Lady? Yeah. No. Uh, I'm not a fan of the Trailer Park Boys at all. Nah, we gotta toast one up for this guy, yo. Even, yeah. even 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 Brother Ralph know who that is. Mr. Lady? Yeah, Lady he was one of the greatest TV villains of all time. Yeah, I'll hit the Henny for Lady. There you go, for Lady. Oh, bro. you hit the Henny. He's oh, one of the nah, greatest drink, TV yeah. villains of all yo, time. Yo, Ralph is here the Henny. I gotta drink now. One of the greatest yo, TV yo, villains. Yo, whoever's in here that knows that knows Ralph, 
Yo, we got we got to throw a thumbs up in the air for my man taking a shot because this is a first time. Yeah. A, oh yeah, you said you're not really a nah. He's not a drinker, bro. Oh, right, right. He's not well. Not he's not a drinker. He just I haven't seen him drink that much. He has to do it for this character only because the, the the guy who portrays him in real life unfortunately passed away. Yeah. Oh, they, oh, they, they, yeah. oh wait, the old man passed away. Yeah, the yeah, old he man passed, passed away, away unfortunately. And you know, you'd be rocking with the with homie with no shirt. Yeah, the cop. Yeah, oh yeah, he doesn't care for the shirt. No, he's, not yeah. a cop. he's not a he's cop. Like, he's like he's allergic to t-shirts. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he can't wear. He can't Wait, wear a la- t-shirt. lady's not the cop. Lady oh, used lady. to be a cop. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, he used to be he's the cop. cop. That becomes the that becomes like the trail. He believes that like, he's the trailer park cop. No, he's the trailer park supervisor. Yeah, and he's the gay dude. But he's right. He's he's, 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 he's not wrong. He's, well, he's, and he was he's, and he was actually and he was in love with this dude with Julian. Low key. Yeah, more or less. But yeah. if you look at what he's saying, the Sherlock Park cop, but he's the supervisor and he acted like he was a cop. Yeah, he still acted like a Remember? cop. Oh, he still yeah. acted like a cop the whole time. And then he would call the cops on them. Yeah, yeah. And then he'd be like, There was a couple of times I think like, he pulled up in his cop shit just open, not closed. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? Hey, I watched enough of that trash. <laughs> Even though he didn't like it, he watched it. <laughs> <laughs> he was aware. He just didn't care for it. Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't a fan of that shit, but y'all niggas always was watching that stuff. Yo, no matter where I went for a little while, somebody was throwing an episode of Trailer Park Boys on, and I got to see a good amount of it. There was only a couple of things I liked. I liked the fact that my nigga Bubbles was so gangster he rolled around in a go kart. <laughs> no matter where he went, that nigga went to the supermarket and shit. Pulled <laughs> <laughs> up, right? You know what I'm saying? And and um, this what nigga, else? this nigga Julian. Okay. He held a rum and coke. Yep. All, all the times. time. All the yeah. time. All the time. Yeah. All the time. All the time. I thought that was a pretty funny character that shit was thing. Always filled up. Yeah. That nigga literally be holding this shit, just yep. walking around like. <laughs> yeah. So like I was saying, <laughs> and he had goons if he needed a refill. He was standing there, and be like, Yo, yo, let's go, Julian. Yo, yo, it's my rum and coke. And he'd be like, Yo, yo, my fault, bro. My fault. My fault, bro. Yep. That's how it was. Come on, yo, really? You FaceTime me right now? <laughs> <laughs> this is what we doing? Pull up, pull up. Is it uh, there was in the hood first? <laughs> yeah, oh, no, that's how we meet. How we oh. trying to pull the John. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, yo, I just thought, yeah, we need, to have a, we need to have a sound for that. If niggas start trying to pull up, hit, hit them with the applaud. With <laughs> 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 the late parents. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you... Do you kind of remember some of the characters of the show? Um, Of course, Homeboy would know... Uh, with no yeah. t-shirt Randy Randy there yeah. we go um, of course Leahy Leahy um, May 3 yeah, that's yeah, fine yeah. and then I mean I remember some of the goons I remember there was like a they had like a cook off or homie had like a, a food truck or some shit fat oh food. Phil Collins oh yeah oh yeah nigga did have the you food remember, truck in the uh, junkyard uh, what was it uh, J-Rock no the, the the first two little goons that they had the first oh. little lackeys Corey and Trevor. Yeah, you remember Corey and Trevor? The tall white I, kid and then I think the I black do. kid with glasses. I think I do. I, oh man, I, I don't. I don't really remember. I know there was like some skinny, skinny kid. Yeah, like, skinny white kid, and then another kid with he had glasses and like dreads and shit. I think I know where you're trying to go. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, that's if you know niggas. I knew niggas. Wasn't the, wasn't the skinny white dude like sick at one point or some shit? Yeah. He was like all fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just show him some of it. A little bit. Oh, so. I think I remember some of it. Oh, God, my, my phones are, are streaming and shit. Nah, nah. Get your phone, bro. So we we came to a conclusion that one of the reasons he was upset about Trailer Park Boys was <laughs> that we said, or he said one of the guys looked just like Ant. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> He said Corey and Trevor. Uh, that's what I'm trying to remember which one. The wish, the wish version. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah, from the other day. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm from Wish.com. Nah, yes. <laughs> There's a coworker of mine that people keep mixing up as me. I swear to everything, they keep mixing up. He's like a doppelganger of me. He really does look like me. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. But he doesn't really look like me. We just have a lot. Of, he's Dominican, so he has like the same skin so complexion. Much. His facial hair, for some reason, is cut the same way. <laughs> right. Whatever. Whatever. He went. So I, said, I was on FaceTime. Yo, know, they try to say the nigga with the glasses is me. Nah, I'm dead. Yeah. Just a light skin, yeah, yo. Just a lighter skin, yeah. yeah. But go ahead, go ahead with your story, bro. Nah, yeah, so so anyway, so we were talking, me and him and my other boy, we were talking on, 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 on video chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Yeah, you got a little t- more tan. You know? Yeah, tan, you know what I mean. The, the, that's you never even see me younger. That's what. Yeah, it is. yeah, yeah. That's what it really hit. It used to do me a little bit younger. Yeah, 
Yeah, I didn't we were like convinced. That. We were convinced. It was like, yo, fuck out of here. That's not me. <laughs> yo, maybe that is why I did. Like you said, but after I heard that shit, yo, because after that shit, he was like, nah, that's bullshit. Nigga. Yeah, that's why he hit me. Me and Hori was convinced. He was like, I think he, I was like, Hori, you should have said that, bro. He's never gonna give the show a chance now, yo. Because any episode, homie pulls up, he's gonna be like, yo, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a UK version also. Right? What was there like another version? Mm-hmm. Wasn't there like another version? Ooh. Wasn't it like um um um? Or that might have been uh, what you would call it. What's the fucking show they got the UK version? Damn. Word? Am I fucking tripping, bro? Yeah, you some version like, of a of a. Of, of of shameless? No, no, I mean, it might be a shameless. Oh, you think it's shameless? Okay. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, shit, that's a shameless. shameless. Oh, that's, that's different. Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of shameless UK shows that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They try. They thought about making an American version of Charlie Park Boys, but. Netflix just got the rights and it was like fuck. It's, it's well, where's Leahy it? though? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Leahy. Yeah. Well, that Leahy. All right, you fucking glorious bastard. You know you've been having getting lit. Woo! I am the liquor, Randy. I am the liquor. Oh, that's great. I got oh. hate shots. Nah. Finish Woo. your story though. My fault, bro. Let me get the soda. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I felt bad because I was like, oh, I know he was literally telling the story and. Nah, so well, what? I hit him with the hit him with the yo double game. <laughs> nah, yeah, so yeah, so then he goes. So I'm talking to him on Facetime, and I'm like, yo, y'all want to see my double game? Like being funny, like being stupid. I show the nigga on the camera. All you hear is these two niggas go, yo, that's the wish version of you. <laughs> so then I was like, what? And he's like, you know, wish.com. We order shit. I'm like, oh. So then I went up to the nigga and I started laughing. And I tell him the joke, and the nigga had never heard of the thing, so he just stood there mad serious, just like, I don't know what you're talking about. It was just like, forget it, bro. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't even help you. He was upset, just like you. Now you're going to hate Wish.com because you. And we talk to go to him, fuck this fucking website. <laughs> the funny thing is that mad people mad, <laughs> mad people go up to him and say hi, right? And sometimes he'd be, he, he's like, he's, he's like kind of serious and awkward at the same time, so the nigga be like, nigga would just be there and be like, no. Like you what? Like no, it's not that's not me. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would make somebody come up and be like, yo, it's good. You'd be like, what? The person would be like, oh shit, that's not it. Hey. <laughs> 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 it's called bad I like, yeah my name. Oh shit. <laughs> I see that and the funny thing is that because we both work outside, right? Mm-hmm. I can see it happen sometimes. Like, I'll be over there, and I'll see a nigga walking, and I already know, because I'm getting used to it. I'm like, this nigga think that's me. And nigga, we walk in, I'm like, yeah. And then when he realizes it's not me, you see the person looking around, like, fuck this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's supposed to be outside. Fuck this nigga. Yeah. That should be funny as fuck, though. <laughs> nigga called him the wish version of me. The wish like, version, baby. I was like, oh, shit. That's what we doing out here. Uh, this happened today, too. Uh, we had a good laugh about it. We put... Uh, a quick reel of it on our Instagram because it, we shouldn't laugh at it because this person is really trying to fight for what's theirs, but we felt like laughing anyway. Uh, the actress uh, Scarlett Johansson, aka Black Widow, is suing the Disney Corporation for breach of contract because of the fact that they chose to put Black Widow on Disney Plus for the fans, but also so they can get some extra bread, and it didn't. It was it didn't coincide with the release date of the actual film, uh, in that sense that she thought it would. She thought it would come on the the, the the app later, and because of that, the more people that buy stuff on Disney Plus, we're now learning that they the actors lose less money off the base in their contract. So they they get more money based on how much tickets sell. So, yeah, they sell. Yeah, and because but if, if everyone's home watching it, then the only person that's making money is Disney, Disney. Plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Disney. so they're doing that. That thing that Disney does, like you pay to watch it first. Oh or yeah, or it's just free release. No, no, no. With that movie, that movie, that movie 30 is cash. thirty cash. Okay, thirty cash. So, so Ray the Last Dragon was thirty cash too. Yeah, uh, only three films. Fucking, ed- fucking animated kids movie was thirty <laughs> cash, yo. Was, after you pay what, like sixteen, seventeen dollars that Disney Plus? Yeah, only Pixar was nice enough to give us three free films uh, over the pandemic, which was Onward, Soul, and Luca. Okay. So Luke is fine. Only own Pixar was only willing, the only ones willing to do that. Everybody else, like Marvel and Disney, was like, "Nah, you, you don't have to come up off that. Give us thirty bang right now if you're trying to watch this clear cut HD 4K quality, and that's it." Mm-hmm. So you know how I many people sat at home, paid thirty dollars, and was like, "This movie is trash." Yeah, 
brash. That's not good. But for her, she's losing out on bread. So she's suing Disney, which I'm sure Disney's in the crib, just like us smoking weed. Like, what? What is this? Who, 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 who watched it? Have you watched it? No. Oh. No, no, no. Just oh. me and you, bro. All right, so you, you guys need to check out this website called Los Movies. <laughs> <laughs> And watch it watch for free, free and come talk, yeah, to, come us. talk to us. Yeah, because we and Barbie see it. Yeah, and we telling you save your buddy. All right, save your buddy. It wasn't horrible. You might as well tell me just to save my time. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't have watched it anyway. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> beginning of the, the beginning of the movie was pretty good. Yeah, beginning is pretty Hor- good. End of the movie is horrible. Towards middle to end, garbage, trash. I fell asleep. Yeah. Tried again, fell asleep. I was no surprise though. Uh, I gave the beginning of the movie. Uh, I I like the beginning of the movie. I was actually surprised. That I was into it, and then they did what I thought was supposed to happen, and it went trash. I thought it was gonna be trash all the way through. I was yeah, because like, we heard from so many people it was just hot garbage. Yeah, we heard that it was garbage. We oh, from mad people said it was garbage. So I was like, okay. I right, so I'm expecting to watch a garbage movie, but I'm still gonna watch it for my own opinion. And it right. started off good. It started off. So good. I was like, yo, what the fuck? I don't know what these niggas talking about. Yeah, I like, like the beginning. Yeah, and a little slow. And then it just got real. The middle got slow. Yeah. And the end just went trash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the the her sister was she did steal the show, and her 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 dad did a good job too. Um, they asked if it was as trash as Mortal Kombat. And no, 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 no. Mortal Kombat was definitely worse than Black. Mortal Kombat, Kombat is garbage. Yeah. The storyline was ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> Mortal Kombat is all. It, Mortal Kombat put itself so far down there, bro. It's like. Damn, I'm be- I'm sad for it, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. So it wasn't. It definitely wasn't that bad. Yeah, it, it was wasn't. More it wasn't that bad. It wasn't Mortal Kombat. We'll bad. say that's I, gonna be a new yeah. feature. Yo, Mortal Kombat bad. Yeah, Mortal Kombat bad. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's a good one. I like that. We are gonna rock with that. Mortal Kombat movie bad. We want people to be like, damn, a video game too. Um, <laughs> but I'll say like it wasn't. It was better than Wonder Woman eighty four, but it wasn't better than the first Wonder Woman. Which is kind of saying a lot. You too. think it was better than Wonder Woman '84? No. It was definitely better than Wonder Woman '84. Come on, bro. I haven't she rode before. lightning with a lasso. What? She did. You're right. <laughs> but that was the end. I know that trash ended. <laughs> <laughs> that was the end. You're right. Movie. You're right. You're right. You're right. Wonder Woman '84 is also on Los Movies. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's on HBO Max now. You got HBO Max. I had it, but my little brother changed the password. Oh, <laughs> those movies. We're going to have to get that nigga a call. Yeah. So part one, I thought part one of Wonder Woman was, was fucking good. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see 84 yet. Yeah, you're, you're missing out. So, yeah, no, 84, 84 is not, yeah, it's not, not anything crazy. Not anything crazy. The, the coolest part is the stupidest part to me, honestly. And that's when they drove an invisible jet through some fireworks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait. <laughs> Hold on, she learned how to do it. There was some fireworks. <laughs> she was like, hey, what did you do? I used it just I, I, when I was on the island. And I, I, I. Well, I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, I, 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 I just so bad. I just, I just thought of the concept of that. I was like, that's pretty dope. Yo, imagine being an invisible jet going through fireworks. That's cool, that's cool. But that was about it. <laughs> <laughs> that was about it. That was it. about it. That's all I could handle. No. <laughs> Didn't she run the race in that one, though? Yes, yeah. that was the beginning. That was cool. The chariot race. Oh, see, that was the beginning. That's yeah. what I said. Trash ending. <laughs> Trash ending. God, they be letting us down lately. Yeah. When I say down, they literally yeah. lead us down. down. <laughs> Shout out to Xavier. He said it uh, felt like a made-for-TV film. I could assume he's talking about Wonder Woman 84, but I'm also going to assume he's talking about Black Widow too. So we'll go with that. <laughs> Shout out to you, X. We appreciate you. <laughs> oh, oh, but you would like Black Widow though, yo. Right. It got, it got uh, your favorite person. They got a uh, Rachel Wise, yo. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's that your man's that that's 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 Remember? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you told you told the world why. Yeah. Why it's cool to be Rachel Wise? So James Bond's wife, though. This is. I'm so happy for her. I'm so happy for her. I'm happy for her. So happy for her. Yeah, she pull up to the spot. They try to fuck me. Be like, do you know who the fuck my husband is? <laughs> Fucking James Bond. Bob. No, that's the actor. No. No. That nigga's bugging. Oh, you're horrid. 
That's I'm sorry, man. Nah, no, you got you got rough for that. Got rough for that. You got rough for that. It was just a funny moment. That's on our. That's like if you if you fuck Holly Berry, you'd be like, Yo, Jay's bomb fuck too. <laughs> you know the point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, that's what he's saying. Uh, you can catch that that moment we're talking about with Rachel Wise. No disrespect to her, but you catch that moment we're talking about on our Trailer Gang special that's on YouTube right now. After you watch this show, you can check it out, and we're gonna do another one soon with our special guest Ralph. Yo. <laughs> He's definitely gonna be on that. Yo. So yeah, um, Yo. but you guys feel like she's right to fight for her money and try to sue one of the biggest corporations Man, in the she world. Better stop with that noise. Ooh, she can try, but I give her I give her props for trying, but he, she, she knows she's bugging. Yeah, think, I think she's doing it to get that quick settlement. They're gonna be like, hold on real quick. You gonna just flip to page four hundred and five on the contract? <laughs> like, <laughs> see this part. Says we do it, fuck me, what? Yeah. <laughs> Next movie, I'm trying to black pillow. Yeah, man. Yeah, We're gonna be like, yo, matter of fact, yo, go back to work. Go I think there's work. a set set up right now for right you. Now, right now. <laughs> and that's so crazy because when you think about it, that's probably when they do the settlement me, and if they do a settlement, she's gonna be like, yo, I want more money. How much more? And then she says, like, somewhere in the millions or something. They're like, you know what? That's something like, we could do that. And I wanna make sure that I get more merchandise, you know, for me. All right, we can do that. Black Widow shirt, shoes, whatever. And I want another sequel. Whoa, 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 no, no, whoa. No, they'll be like, yeah, yeah, you got it. And then that sequel starts. It's a whole nother bitch. <laughs> it's a whole nother Black Widow. <laughs> we're like, we're, we're gonna make a sequel. Nah, nah, we got rid of you already. Oh, yeah. You didn't get the memo? Yo, yeah, I said that. They're gonna settle and we'll never hear about it again. That could happen too. That's gonna happen. Oh, that could happen too. Gonna like, what you crying about, bro? Word. 10 mil? <laughs> <laughs> it's Disney. They don't be like, yo, you want to be seen again? Cool. We'll hold that down. Next thing you know, Kingdom Hearts 4. The first Marvel character. <laughs> She'll be like, that's not what I said. Black Widow. Black Widow. Oh, shit. Now Iron done. Man, my nigga? I'll be done. Yeah, nobody's buying that. No. Oh, an Iron Man, Hulk, Thor? Shit, you oh, yeah. Man, Black Panther? If Hulk was in it, Lewis is buying it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing about this game. What they go Hulk? <laughs> yeah, right. I never played none of them before. I had Hulk, and I played that one. These niggas gonna call like, "Yo, why Hulk? Why Hulk chilling with Mickey Mouse, bro? What's going? What's going on? What's, what's this game about?" <laughs> but uh, what's the lore? <laughs> yeah, but not to spoil it for you guys. But at the end of um, Black Widow, as usual, Marvel movies. Oh, there it is. Oh, yo, there it is. Another special guest. Just go and press the button. That's this door. And that's it. In the back there. Oh, All right, cool. Yeah. I was like, uh, we're kind of enjoying this. Yeah, he's, he's, not not he's, 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 he's giving me the bleachers. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, 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 he's he's the bleachers. I say we ain't want MTA this. Yeah, but we got a we got a special guest pulling up today. Yeah, we're not gonna be like, oh, I'm saying, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, spread out, we're gonna get comfy and stuff. They get sad, yo. That we got MTA in this joint, bro. You gonna have to move up. What happened? Bro, you can't open the door. He knows what to do. I mean, you live in the apartment building, bro. <laughs> Only three uh, bites. Yo, you gotta open the door, though. This shit, that, this shit is slam lock. Come on, yeah, man. This is, uh, this is Nerds in the Hood. This is how the hood does. But anyway, and uh, for those of you who haven't seen Black Widow, we're not gonna spoil it, but we will say if you are interested in seeing it, watch it. You know, whatever. Uh, or you can wait till the fall if you don't want to go on one of those bootleg sites and you can wait till the fall when Disney Plus has it on there for free. Um, but yeah. At the end of it, it sets up the events of the next Marvel show, which is Hawkeye. And it has a confirmed date of November 24th. So the MCU Phase 4 keeps growing, people. It just keeps growing. And speaking of growing, so is our guests. Yay! 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 Happy yes. in the building! Happy Happy yeah. What's up, man? What's up, Yo, there's, a, there's a beautiful chair behind you. There's a beautiful chair behind you, bro. What's up, man? Let's nice see you again. Let these wonderful people know who you are again. Reintroduce yourself. Again, I'm the lovely, the one and only, Jay Wertala. How y'all doing? Wertala! Abimi! He's Dominican, but Abimi! <laughs> Wait, he's Dominican? Yeah! Oh, man! Yeah. So he's a Habibi? <laughs> yeah! He's oh. just like Wertala. I was like, oh, all right, cool. He's not a Habibi, though. Yeah, my mom. He's Dominican. My Muslim brothers, you know I love you. He's Dominican. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, they love you, too, bro. Welcome back, bro. You, you, you people also remember him from... The wonderful uh, 420 episode, special. 420 special. Where he, he was, was in the 420 special. He was on the couch, but he was definitely wanting to be seen and yeah. heard. Right there in the middle. I had to pull a John real quick, you know? Nah, that's cool, man. Yo, don't worry. You, we invented a new sound for y'all late niggas. 
over. Yeah, we're gonna just like, to on, on the video. We're gonna edit it. It's gonna it's gonna be a clap. <laughs> just, just right before the niggas came through, it's gonna <laughs> audience clapping like. <laughs> and now coming in. I'm, I'm just gonna clap. Well, you know we hood niggas are always late. <laughs> said, I'm, not, I'm not technically. I'm not, I'm not that good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna clap. Yeah, yeah. I like that shit. We gonna we gonna edit it. <laughs> just just give me put the emojis. Yeah, just put some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put some emojis. Good job, boy. That's using the old brain. Uh, so yeah, we were just talking about the fact that did you see the movie Black Widow? I've seen clips and bits. Clips and bits. Clips, clips and bits. That way. Oh, my fault, my fault. Man. Clips and bits of Black Widow. How do you see clips and bits of Black Widow? Uh, mostly Red Guardian, to be honest. Uh, What's Red Guardian? Guys, hilarious as fuck. Red Guardian. You really movie. didn't like that movie, yo. <laughs> no, I'm so, oh, I'm saying, how did you? Okay, so you only saw his parts. I saw parts of his interaction with Natalie and her sister. Through YouTube. And, <laughs> YouTube, Facebook, like I just saw clips. Oh, so you didn't see the movie? He saw commercials. Yeah, basically. I saw personal trailers, bro. I saw personal trailers. I was like, it sounded like you just watched some commercials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have got him. Yeah, should have got him. Like you said, I, yo, that was the realest answer ever. I see that movie. Where? Do the trailers. Yeah, <laughs> that's, 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 that's it. I'm good. Yo, they yo, give you all the best parts. It's like that's what you need. I'm good. I seen the trailer. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live. Natalie was a poser. You know, I got, I got the good bits. I got the good bits. You know why it's funny? Because cats bring up certain parts. And it's in the trailer, so you can just be like, yeah, 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 that's yo, what like. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you right. can't be through the whole shit, right. yeah, so yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 that shit was lit. Yeah, cool, 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 good, good movie, good movie. Like that's crazy. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, it sets up the events of Hawkeye. You just have to see the end credits. Not gonna spoil it for nobody out there, but the end credits basically combine the worlds of Marvel's movie franchises with Marvel's TV franchises. Okay. And yeah, Hawkeye is now confirmed to hit Disney Plus on. November 24th, it will be Hawkeye and his daughter, who will be played by the lovely Haley Stanfield. And uh, the MCU's growing, y'all. We got Phase 4 in full effect now. Everybody so got a date. Is this before the, the snap or after? After. After? So this is after this is even. With his daughter and. Right, 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 right. So now his daughter is older, you know. So they got to get through all that weird phase where, yo, you will miss her for five days. Right. Which is interesting because I was like. They kind of just recasted the girl from Endgame. They were just like, nah, you good. We gotta get a higher profile. You know? Yeah. Hey, they do that a lot. They do that a lot. <laughs> Shout out to Ant, who just gave one of our viewers the best good answer he could, have, he could give. They asked, where you guys at tonight? A French crib. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, nobody no more. Every night. Every night. <laughs> Every That's what we have when we do our regular show, our friends. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> nah. Nobody just wants to say, oh, I mean, like, yo, bro, what you doing? No, nah, but there's a lot of there's a lot of nice art here. Yeah, so, let's go with that. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things oh. in here. There's there's fucking I mean what paintings can they see? Yeah. This one this this one's a Sin 2 painting. If you know anything about little right. artists and stuff like that. Go what ahead. else what else you got? We gotta say let let the let the genius show yeah, us. Yeah, right? Let the artist right. I mean, let show the talent. <clears throat> Dude, there's a lot. I mean shit. On the on the wall over here, what's the one? What's the bike one? That's uh, oh, Timothy, yeah. Curtis. Timothy Curtis. Yeah, we got Timothy Curtis over there. Who else we got? I don't think they can see that on here. Yeah, you can see you can see the girl. You can see the girl up there. You're right. These, the skateboard, the skateboard, and the smiley face is Andre. He's a he's an artist from France. Mm. Uh, the 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 painting is also the paint this this paint can is also an Andre piece. Uh, what else we got? They got the obvious Supreme on the wall. Yeah, this, those two skateboards in the back are both Supreme. The one up top, oh, you got to put that oh, on silent. Yeah, hell yeah. Have you haven't been to <coughs> the movies in a minute. No, I'm not going to play. What? The one behind me that you kind of can see. I'm a pirate. It's original I'm chain, pirate. original piece. There you go. We got original pieces. We got. There's a lot of art here, yo. All the things up top above that mirror is limited edition Funko Boba Fett. All of them are Boba Fett. <laughs> They're different Boba Fett. <laughs> oh well, there's a job up there too. Yeah, well, like two of them. Yeah, <laughs> three of them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Misinformation. Oh, you crazy? You don't show up Star Wars, right? Oh. No. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, 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 yo,
I'll be here chilling on the couch. I feel like the painting is like staring at me, like work on me, work on me, you know. Nice. But by the time you just don't like, you, like when you put your pen on the paper, you just don't like you don't feel like it's a hundred percent you, or you're not comfortable with what's coming out. Yeah, I mean, it's so you it's walk always, away, you come back to it, you're like, ah, let me look at it differently. Yeah, it's always like that. It's like it's like a touch and go process. I mean, mm -hmm. I feel like. I get to a point where if I mess with it anymore, I'm gonna fuck it up. So I, I guess I can say that's done then. But I can walk past like these paintings and you know add a little something or add a little something here and there. I don't know. It's, it's, it's always back and forth, you know. Okay. There's a big point. Time, right, bro? <clears throat> so these two they're yeah. not complete. No, I mean this one I say is like almost. Maybe there's like a little more I can do. I don't have to put on like a different stretcher because this stretcher is a little bit. Mm -hmm. But that one, I don't think it's done yet. I feel like there's like something big missing that I just can't get yet. And you know, I have posters over there, so I kind of rip it up and see what fits. But I'm kind of jumping onto the piece over there, straight ahead. Um, man, I have maybe ten other pieces in the room mm -hmm. that I'm working on that I could, you know, I could flip this out at any given second. Oof. So, I just go from there, bro. I mean, whatever, you know, whatever I'm feeling at the moment, I just kind of rock it. He said, I got some heat, but you know. All right, so, let, so with that being said, let's get, let's get into what do you do? What is it that you do for a career, for the people that don't know you? Talk to these I niggas. I mean, I do some tattoos here and there, you know, and then I do some paintings as well, you know, uh, just kind of survive like that. What do you, um, where do you work at right now? <laughs> um, right now, I work for Ink Magazine. NYC shop in the city. Um, yeah, I tattoo full time there, and my other full time job is is some art, you know. So anything artsy, farsy, you know, I fuck with. Um, <clears throat> I just go from there. I just kind of I, I kind of run with it, you know. Whatever I feel like doing, I kind of just I try to do. And if I like it, I run with it. If I don't, then you know I chill. Thank you. So that's what's up. That's what's up. Um. <clears throat> so this is my boy. And honestly, I have about, how many tights I got from him? Like four or five? Yeah, I lost, <laughs> I lost count too, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, because you want, you want to know why we lost count? I'm gonna tell you how I get tatted by this man. Okay. See what we're doing right now? You see, you see what we're doing right now? We'll be blazing here, watching TV, yeah, right? Bullshitting. Mm. And then three of the board niggas just be like, yo, I'll pay for a tat right now. <laughs> no cap. And he'd be like, I don't yeah. feel like tired, but how much bread you got? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, all right. He's like, all right. He's like, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Then we'd be like, all right, what you want to do? And if the idea is good enough, then you'd be like, fuck it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah. yeah. 30 minutes later, he's like, day. yo, if I turn on this machine, bro, it's. <laughs> Somebody get a tat. Somebody get a tat Somebody today. Somebody get a tat tonight. Somebody get a tat tonight. We gonna be up all night, yo, where the L's at? Start rolling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, bro. He, yeah. Did, he did my cause piece. Um, he did my guns on my leg. Mm -hmm. He did the. I have an Andre piece to match this right here. Mm -hmm. I, I have a piece from this artist. Mm -hmm. uh, he did his Popeye girl, which is on my other leg. And uh, oh, and the, the my traditional tab, the a swap. What is it called again? Oh, a sparrow. A sparrow. Oh yeah. That's what I was so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He did, all his tabs are clean, man. You can check him out on. Uh, what, what's the what, at the ink at ink magazines, but the tattoo shop that's in downtown. Oh, and what's your what's your Instagram again? Oh man, it's my phone. Instigator. Name. Yeah, no. it's Instigator. Oh, okay, I got okay. you. Yeah. So, Instigator, yeah. No, that's good. It still comes up on the Instigator. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I know it's your full name now. You can, yeah, you can still put yeah. his name, it's but it still name. comes out as Instigator. My boy, hey, wake up, like got gotcha. you. This shit clean. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, nah, this one right here. Ask him when we did this one, bro. Three, what? Three in the morning. Yo. Yeah. We did this one. We did the first side, right? He did the the left side of my cap. It was all good. Mm -hmm. Nigga was like, "All right, ready, ready now." I'm like, "Ready for what?" Nigga's like, "We gonna attack the other side, nigga," yeah. which is the shin, Ooh. on the shin, bro. Ooh. So I'm like, "It's not gonna be that bad." When we line up the 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 thing, almost I want to say ninety percent of this tat is on my shin, bro. <laughs> the rest is only a little tiny piece of the fat. Jesus. Yo, I was sitting there, he, was, he saw me sweating. Like, yo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like, he was like, yo, you good? I'm like, bro, I'm, 
I was like, yo, can we take a break? He's like, nah, bro, we gonna finish this right now. Yeah. 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 I, I would've freaked out. Yeah. He would've hated me. And, if, and, you, and are you, feel, you can feel it kind of here, it just hitting the bone, like, oh, click, 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 click. And he was like, yo, we gotta, I have, a, I have a silencer on it, so it's black. He's like, we gotta get this black in here, bro. He's oh like, we're not fading shaded, nothing. <laughs> 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 Every time we went to do black, I was just holding my breath, like, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> and I have bad tats, bro. <laughs> it's like, nah, this shit is no joke right here. Do you, do you have, like, a work that you feel is like your, right now, your, like, peace de resistance? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's just something that's like, this is me right here. This is my signature. Um, oh, man, it's hard. Like your style. Yeah. I have like this stuff, and then I have like this stuff behind it. Like okay. Uh, this SpongeBob piece that's back here. And it's oh, kind of just do the fire. It's kind of just different. Like you want to do all your shit. Yeah, you should. Yeah, yeah I should have put that on here. Yeah, SpongeBob is dope. I feel like Mickey Mouse is dope too. Okay. When he got that shit here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you What's up, that's Folks, this man, this shit looks like. the, the beautiful thing about the hood is you meet interesting people like this gentleman right here who just got talent. Facts, the hood the is talent. talented. hood has talent. That's it's fact. Fact. just hard to get out of here. Nah, this is actually one of my favorite pieces, too. This is this this piece is sold, too, already, right? Yeah, this piece is gone. Ooh! So talking about my man. My man making, making moves out here. You heard him? You heard him? Something like, that was a sign. Like, yeah, this has been gone. This has been gone, you know? I've been, I've been, I've been got a buyer on this. This is what I do. Yeah, you can lean it on the computer. No, no, yeah. It's not gonna, it's not oh. Cause it's gonna get fucked up. Oh, okay. We don't want to mess it up. But well, people got to see it for a few seconds. <laughs> nah, that's cool. People got to see it at least. Yeah, was a hello kitty hanger. I need like a hanger right here. Oh, lean on the door now. That's, that's, that's what I'm about to say. Balance out the door now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. so the nigga who bought that shit is gonna be watching this episode like yo I see that shit drop. I, see that shit drop. <laughs> I was there for that. <laughs> but this is this is how we do it folks. This is why we travel the hood now. We already we already caught the first nigga in the hood with a Tesla with two and oh yeah now we got a we got a, a talented artist. Nah yeah, my man's out here making moves. He he really does his art thing. Yeah. Um, I was lucky to meet him as a friend now. I mean we've been friends what like five years now since the Something like that. Something like that yeah. I don't know, bro. Time is fucking flying. Oh, that yeah. it is, sir. Oh, Time yeah. is flying. Bro. Think oh, about yeah. that. One minute you Black Widow in the Avengers. Next minute you suing Disney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We gave you a shot. This how you feel. Yeah. This how you feel. This how you feel. We had you held you down for almost ten years, baby. Bro, that's what's the last? What's the last movie you had to do other than us? The other work. Talk about. It. Right. We'll talk about. Who's in the show? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you gotta send you back tonight. You, you wanna make another one? About that. <laughs> you wanna make another one? You know, nah, she did. There was a movie she made, almost got her Oscar. It was called uh, Marriage Story, I think. What was her? With, with the, oh, with yeah, the, that with was the, her. The, yeah. the, the Star Wars guy. Kylo Ren, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It almost got her Oscar. I forgot she was in that. But that was, but if you think about that, The Avengers was 2012. The first time we really kind of saw. No, no. The first time we saw it was Iron Man 2. So Iron Man 2 was. One? Yeah, no, no, the second one. Yeah, she was Nigga said, uh, it's Iron Man 2, the first one. I don't know if I was Why did you say, wasn't it the first one? <laughs> I don't know if I was I heard what he said. Yeah, yeah. that's why I'm like, wait, wait, that's the first one? What? I thought he said the second one. Nah, nah, nah. nah. I thought he said yeah. yeah, I was like, wait, wait, wait. My chronological order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Usually we laugh at him for saying something, and he called you. Nah, I thought I'm on my guard, nigga. I'm like, I'm listening, I'm like, yo, did I hear that? say, what? <laughs> First and second, man. First and second? Like, which one? <laughs> Tell me now. Yeah. The second one's a prequel, you know? It's a prequel, bro. <laughs> nah, he was, she was in the second one. And I think Iron Man 2 came out, I think, in like 2010, I want to say. Oh, we still on Johansson. I thought you were going to make the first. <laughs> what the Harry is full. There's this nigga talking about. I've lost the space. I've lost the space right yeah, now. Yeah, you, you smoke before you got here? He clapped. He clapped. He clapped. That's okay. That's all right. We're good. Put a couple prayers Yo, we're good. Matter of fact, we need our special guest to always show him clap. No. <laughs> I got to bring you live. I got to bring you live. No, no, no. I was joking. Um, it's it's just, have you put your work in like, is your work? Can be seen in like galleries or museums right now, or I'm just um, asking, just spitballing. Um, I have my well, I actually have my works hanging up in my shop only. 
Okay. Uh, there's a gallery space in there as well. Um, mostly just there now. I'm trying to do a couple things here in the near future, but for now I'm just working. Like I'm not too caught up with just getting every work out there. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of having work and I don't know making what I want to make. I'm not too pressed on you know like I don't know. I'm not I'm not like rushing anything. You know, I'm just letting it you know take its course. I'm not beasting because. I mean, not that I'm not worried about it, but I don't know. It will, it will work itself out, you know, okay. when the time comes, I think. Were you able to meet any big name people in the art world or any celebrities, for that matter, through your works? Um, well, I mean, I talked to a couple celebs here Oof. and there. Um, well, yeah, what, 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 what are some of those celebs? So if you don't that. mind, you know, unless I mean, they told you, like, you know, confidentiality type shit. I mean, I, I talked to Nick Cannon. Oh uh, yeah. What? I tattooed yeah. Canyon That's and fire. um I tattooed Tim Howard. Okay. Um, you know Tim Howard, soccer player at Goldie. I'm the aware of his name. He's the word, apparently he's like America's best goalie ever. goalie ever and he owns he owns a team in the soccer league now. Because he got like, like, eleven saves in one game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some something like that. Yeah, so I, I have a couple like I tattooed a couple of <laughs> celebrities now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I heard what you said. Yeah, no, He's, he reached it and he just left it hanging. No, so he was like, oh. He just looked at me like, oh, like damn it. I thought you saw me. Like, I don't want to interrupt him, but shit. I didn't want to interrupt you either. But that's how I was that's like, how I stopped it. He wanted to interrupt me. He was like, and you were looking at me. I was like, that hurts in the hood. Niggas reach for the lighter and the blunt, and niggas are still talking. you like, damn, I don't want to interrupt, but I need that right now. You feel me? Nah, but but that's cool though. Tim yeah. Howard, Tim Howard, Nick yeah, yeah, Cannon. It, it's cool, yeah, definitely. I mean, those guys are great, definitely. Mm. You know, but I got it through mostly through my shop. You know, my shop is pretty, it's pretty strong. But you know, uh, Ink Magazine has been around for quite quite a long time now. Mm. So you know, they definitely have a, a wide network. And yeah, it's great, man. Definitely, I meet a, I meet a lot of cool people. You know, and it's chill. I don't know. Every day it's like a Every day is something different. So a different story, different person, you know, different experience is always, you know, it's always there. Okay. Okay. Hey, yeah, uh, so since you're talking about experiences, um, has ta Tattoo taken you, like, in any really dope spots, like any dope places, like even outside of America? Like, have you gone to some places that you thought were, like, fire and did tats at? Um, I tattooed in Germany for a little bit. Um, that's really the only place I tattooed. I traveled Europe a little bit. Italy and the Netherlands, um, but I've only tattooed in Germany. Mm. Not, not. I wasn't. Again, I, I went over there not so much, just trying to make make money. I was just I wanted to travel. So, you know, making money was just kind of the icing on the cake. Like, I did my thing, I made some money, I came back, pretty much got free free vacation. Uh, you know? Free vacation. Yeah, I got my name out there a little bit, did my thing, and came back home. You know. I remember the, the funny thing you told me about uh, Europe was that um, right before, right, cause, you know, we, we cool. Right before he went to Europe, he wanted to tattoo somebody on the head. Like, he wanted to tattoo somebody's head. So all the time I would ask for a tat, and he would always be like, yo, if you let me tat your head, I'll do it right now. And I was like, no. He's like, yo, we just shaving here, bro. We're going to go back with the shit underneath. I was like, nah. Then he goes to Germany. The first person that asks for a tat for him gets his whole back of his head tatted. Wow. Legit. And he wow. sent me a picture and he was like, yo, hey, y'all niggas is bitches. Nigga had some crazy shit on the whole back of his dopeies. Well, you know they was tough out there. Yeah. I was like, do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was crazy and like he didn't speak he didn't speak much English. And of course I mean I don't speak, I don't speak German, so not, I, don't, I don't think we really spoke, spoke through a translator because, of course, my, my friends there, they speak German. We had, like, a couple words, you know. We look at the design, and it's like, yeah, okay, you know. Lay the stencil, look in the mirror, like, yeah, thumbs up. Yeah. And that's, a, that's about it. Rock and roll. Nigga got tatted on that fucking head, my <laughs> nigga. He couldn't even speak <laughs> yeah. to him. He speak to him. Like, yo, how'd it go? Nigga, like, I give him a thumbs up, and boom. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, your whole still, yang. <laughs> 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 That's how, that's how it was, bro, definitely. Or, yeah, my friend will tell me this person wants this. They will come in, they see the design, and okay, that's it. Let's get started. Lady. That's you know, most up. of the time, they're just, most of the time, everyone's cool, though, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, people don't, they, they, they want your vision, so, you know, 
to do what, do what you think is best. So that's kind of the, that's definitely the easy side, but you know, it's not important. Okay. That's what's up. Nah, that's chill, bro, definitely. Sounds chill. That's what's up. <laughs> when are you guys going to get tatted by him? Oh, bro. I need you to do a tap for my brother right here. He's been dying for one. Oh. Right here. Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah, he wants. You ever seen a Gundam? Gundam, yeah. Yeah, he wants a Gundam right here, right? But right below the Gundam, he wants three Z's. <laughs> 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 yeah. Ah, you yeah. still running with that? Are you still running with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was because it was a day that nigga said, Gundam have, have a weight. And the nigga said, oh, I thought you said Gundam triple Z's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so that's Gundam. Yeah, 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 you got it. Yeah, you got it right away. I'm telling you, yeah, Gundam the tri- first shit. Yo, Gundam Triple Z's is where it's at. Where it's at, bro. Well, he already doesn't want to accept it. How was Gundam halfway? Uh, it was alright. Oh, no. <laughs> I said I said it's alright because you turned into Gundam Triple Z. Triple Z. Right? Yeah. 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 It's basically a sequel to the original series. So I was never a big fan of, of the original series. It was like, I thought it was okay. So you're saying instead of three Z's, there was four Z's? Because it was a sequel? <laughs> there was no Z's involved. There's no Z's involved, man. There's no Z's. <laughs> now, you know what I thought you were going to say? I thought you were going to say that he wanted got to fight an uh, angel from Evangelion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's actually not a bad time to see because you've gotten, so your mind is more like, now I want some fire shit that's going to be on my arm or leg or some shit. Meanwhile, I'm over here just cracking jokes. Like, get that nigga three Z's. Right in the arm. Just bang, bang, bang. The funny thing is that I got all these tats, and then I go around niggas like him and other people, and then I, they make me feel like I'm not tatted at all. I'll <laughs> 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 yeah, be like, let me put my clothes on. Like, <laughs> wait, wait till we get more on tomorrow, bro. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Where my love sleeves at, man? It's why you got a jacket. Yeah. <laughs> wait till we get more out into the world. And, and we're like, yo, we finally met Wiz Khalifa. You're gonna be like, dang. Yo, at my job, they were getting mad because I wasn't wearing a sleeve to cover my tats, right? Mm-hmm. And then my boss finally, well, my supervisor finally came and was like, yo, you gotta get your sleeve back to cover the tat. I'm like, yo, honestly, bro, I'm black. You can't even really see these shit, yo. What are you, what are you talking about? And she started laughing because I was dead serious. Like, you guys looking at me from a camera and you can't even see it, bro. <laughs> you can't see it. I'm lying, man. <laughs> it's like most of the people who walk up to me are not looking at my arm, bro. They not even paying attention to this. They're looking at their phone. Yeah. yeah. They don't, you know, niggas be asking me questions. They don't even stop their car sometimes. Niggas be asking me questions and still moving. I'm like, do you want to answer? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> just, <laughs> no, you're not lying. Yeah. <laughs> like, you want me to answer you? I just fuck you then, nigga, go. <laughs> I want that quick one second answer. Yo, right, nigga, like, I'm not about to scream at you, nigga. <clears throat> Hilarious. Well, um, we do appreciate you bringing us into your world, brother, letting us see what it is that you do in the hood. You know what I mean? But what it is that helps make you you, man. Make the world see I'm interested in this, this special man. Go ahead. Yeah. This mini Uzi. I forgot what artist this was again. Lil Uzi Vert? And Bryce Wong. <laughs> yeah, it's a collaboration from uh, Bryce Wong and the Shoe Uzi. And the Shoe Uzi. Yeah, Shoe Uzi. You got that, 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 it was some event, right? It was an event in the city. I, I remember you showing me some pictures. What was, the, what was that event at? In the city? You got this at an event, right? No, no, no. Uh, I thought you got it. Or you went to his event, and there was one there. Was it that one it was? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just ordered this online. Yeah. No, nah, I could have sworn you went to one of his events, because even John went to the same one as you. And he showed me pictures of Uzis, but they were different colors. Oh, the Daniel R. Show. Oh, no, it's a cardboard Uzi. It's the cardboard Uzi. Oh. That's okay, what I'm mixing yeah. it up with. Beyond the Streets. Yeah, beyond, beyond the, the streets. streets. There you go. Yeah, Beyond the Streets. See, so you yeah. trying to play me. No, I just didn't know what happened. What was the like, nah, artist's snap from? I was lost. It was uh, Bill Barminski. Yeah, 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 Bill Barminski. I, yeah. I have a couple pieces from him. Yeah, the cardboard Uzi. That's what I'm mixing this up with, with that one. Because yeah. you got the cardboard Uzi. I remember you showing me it, and you was like, yo, this shit is fire right here. That was that was the Uzi I was thinking of. Okay. That was your is there any other ones you like? Because I see one that looks kind of like Charlie Brown. Right, my oh, yeah. wrong. Yeah, Charlie Brown. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was right. That's, that's around English. 
when she has a removable, uh, removable mask. Oh, yeah. That's crazy that that shit oh, came with a mask? mask? Yeah, yeah. Mask oh, oh shit. Oh, gotta let the people see that. That's that new 20, Ooh. that's that new 2020. Oh, this thing is real as gold? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh. Oh, <laughs> shit, I never took the mask yeah. off, but. Oh, shit. Yeah. Go grill, dog. Go grill, dog. You know, I don't, I don't touch your art after the last time. Yeah. Oh, oh, great. Shit. I don't like the way that sounds. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, funny story, guys. The day you got a skateboard, right? It's right. The skateboard's over there. You can't see it. The day of. The day. Oh, the day oh, yeah, it must have been like. Oh, oh man. man, it must have been like. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. Yo, dead <laughs> ass. No, that's what it was, bro. We had it for like two, three hours. He, co- he told me to come over to chill. I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna come over. And then he showed he showed me the skateboard. And I, I went to go try to take pictures of it. So I stood it up on the speaker right here, but the speaker was on. Right, and then I'm just taking pictures of it, taking pictures of it, and then the vibration causes it to, to fall over, and it hits, it hits that metal thing right there. And then nigga was just like, "Yo, you broke it, bro. You broke it." I'm like, "Nah, nah, yeah, I didn't break it." Yo, <laughs> this shit dead had a chip. Ch- it. it dead had a chip in it. Oh, <laughs> like, in the whole painted part, a whole chunk. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "How did that happen, bro?" He's like, "Yo, what the fuck?" <laughs> he was tough. He's like, "Bro, what you do, bro?" I know, man. I just well, got this nigga. Yo, I don't know. I felt bad, bad. But later, <laughs> later on, he was, he was making, bad. he was proud of me about it. Nigga was proud of me. Then he put it before it was there. He had it like up there, away where people couldn't yeah, see the it. Wine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it people. was high up, oh, so then you couldn't see it close up. I was like, yo, man, I feel so bad, bro. He said, he said the clumsiest <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Don't let him in car, that's for sure. Wow. <laughs> nah, nah, I can, I can at least attest that he's all right with the car. Wow. Well, all right with the car? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, made one, he made one mistake that was... He must uh, be getting a specific detail. He must, he must yeah. have been around. He made one mistake that was a little severe, but it sounds like he made more, so he never mind. He must have been around. Sorry, yeah, maybe I wasn't. Maybe maybe I was asleep. Maybe I was asleep. <laughs> maybe I was asleep. Let's go with that. He's touching on Gundam Z's. Oh! Gundam oh. 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 Ali, <laughs> you? Yeah, yeah. He was out. He was out. Ooh, my man Ralph is working out. He know trip. He trailer park boys. He getting Gundam jokes right on the first attempt. I think out here. Ooh, that boy. That boy is talented, boy. More than just an artist, man. More than just an artist. I'm we'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Yeah. Never mind, never mind you to this house just so you know. Be <laughs> <laughs> ready. Be like, yo, we need Rob to come over here. Nah, nah, nah that nigga nah. was running with y'all. Let this girl chop out the niggas. He can stay over there. Y'all go to his house. Matter of fact, fuck y'all. Nah, he's ready. 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 He's Come on, man. Y'all niggas trip. Y'all niggas trip. Uh, 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 so now we are going to move on <clears throat> to our tried and true, now traditional, Nerds in the Hood segment, which is known as Facts or... Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. For you two gentlemen, you already... Well, y'all know. But I'm going to say it again. For the people at home, basically... Fuck out of here. Basically, we bring up a topic... We, uh, that has like a list or something and then within the list we just say we agree which you already know is facts or disagree which is fuck out of here for the people who aren't from the hood that don't know the vibes so I found a good one for you boys uh, I, I saw a bunch of different lists one day and I found one that had a little bit more that we could vibe with for a couple uh, it's from a website known as Ula, and they had the definitive ranking of the absolute worst Oreo flavors of all time Man. Oh yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I probably haven't tasted a lot of those because I'm not a fan of Oreos, but I'm with it. It's munchies, so I figure we keep the munchies vibe yeah, going yeah, since yeah. we are clouded right now. So uh, let's go with some Oreos. Let's go with some Oreos. So we got number eleven, which is the most stuff. The yeah. most stuff. Trash. They said it's one of the worst flavors of all time. Yeah. Yo, I mean, I that. Nah. <laughs> like, That's like, that looks like the, the double stuff. Yeah, it looks like a double I, stuff. I even like like double even stuff. more. <laughs> what? So was that overstuffed? Yeah, it's yeah. overstuffed cream. Yeah. They said that's it. So we going with that's a fact. So I posted that real quick. I was like, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna go with facts. That's not. They, they sound like they got this list right already. 
Yeah, now that we uh, thought that a little through, thanks to that pause, we're definitely going to say automatic facts. Because I don't think anybody walking outside like, yo, this stuff free. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, where are you going with this? <laughs> <laughs> He didn't uh, even want to say the name. He didn't want to say the name. I was just like, oh, God. Number 10, uh, that was number 11, actually. Number 10 is Lemon. Lemon, yeah. Lemon flavored Oreos. That's the fake vanilla shit, right? Yeah. Yeah, nah. That's Literally, true. that's what it looks like. Just straight yellow. Never had that either. Yeah, that's Never true. had that. It's a good thing you didn't, bro. You had it? Yeah, I sure oh, did. You, you an explorer. We, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. a better man than me. I'm going to look at that and kept walking. <laughs> Well, like, uh, there's two uh, things wrong with this. I guess, you never, walk, yo, I guess you never walk down the aisle, Spike, because you just be picking shit out. Like, hey, maybe you right. Maybe you right. right. Okay, I give you right. That's fair. Because usually right. we already have in our minds when we're smack, like I want. That. Oh, you got your pretty. Yeah, 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 that's how we used to get down. Mm. We're like, I, I, I want to get that. I'm gonna go get that. Uh, number nine, pumpkin spice. That was actually I. It was all right. So you're gonna say a fuck out of here. Yeah, that was not one of those I tried that one. I tried that one. I don't think I don't Tried. Well, look at it this way. Okay. You didn't have it. It's facts because that means yeah, you're trying to have it. You feel me? Like you saw it and was like, I don't really think I want to try this. I don't think I tried it either. That's okay. Pumpkin spice I had. I'm pretty sure. Number eight, red velvet. They're saying it's one of the Let's worst see. Oreo flavors ever. Nah, that, 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 that one wasn't that, 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 that bad either. That's not bad. That one. Damn, one the worst oh, Oreo yeah, flavors red ever. The red velvet was I. People at home feel free to play along. Yeah, I was like, I'm hearing a lot of. I'm like, what's going on back there? Yeah, I got like, a lighter for my up? brother? Yeah, this is the second one that came <laughs> Wait, for the cookie or for the lighter? Oh. <laughs> 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 and I was thinking about that. I'm like, wait, is he talking about the... Nah, that was all I was hearing there back. I'm like, what's going on back there? Maybe that zip will work. I don't know. I'm going to hear this. You just have to go to the store. Nigga, we can't go back. <laughs> He's like, we do the show, bro. We live. We live, bro. We live. Oh, it's all fun. Yeah, sure. Uh, we end up like one of them movies. Yeah, we about to have a sparking noise for like twenty minutes. Yeah. Uh, so in the meantime, while they going through their unfortunate dilemma, we pray for y'all boys over here. Uh, and, and he's a miracle worker. He'll probably be working. I know he's just gonna rub his elbows together. Yeah. Well, nah. I don't know about Shandy, but I'm a small pop blood. Oh. 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 Oh, you got to work with no. him. I told you he's a miracle worker. Deception, man. Yeah. Nah, it's just when you have years in the game. Was, no homo, that nigga was fucking flicking like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to weed, he's a five-star general, bro. Respect that. Oh, that's the, fuck, that's the fucked up liner. Yeah, you got to Oh, yeah, yeah, no, he's going to warn you, bro. bro. Yeah. Yeah. He, over, he already <laughs> caught. They can wait till you fell. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this was well, that was, yeah, that was big fucked up. Man, shit. Anyway, um. Number seven, mint Oreo thins. Trash. Mint Oreo thins. The thins are actually good. Oh, I'm not going to eat mint. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll give you that too. I hate mint. I, I can actually say that I tried that one and I wasn't. It's not that it was whack, it's just I don't like anything mint either. Yeah. So that's an automatic loss. Automatic. Number six, reduced fat Oreos. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, for the f- simple fact that I've never heard of that, that's just, oh, yo, get that out. I've heard of it, but. I, you've heard of it? It's just funny. You see them, yeah. You see them once in a while. Yeah, they're in stores. It's just funny that somebody's like, "Yo, this shit is (laughs) half the taste of Oreo." Trash. Automatic trash, bro. I'd rather the boo. I'd rather the boo. I'd rather get my calories up. (laughs) Fuck that. Uh, Number five, cookie dough. I didn't even know there was a cookie dough. You see that one? Cookie dough. Damn that! I didn't have that, but that sounds fire. I don't know why that does sound fire. I'm gonna reserve judgment on that. Oh, that's why it was a limited edition. Oh, okay, cookie dough. Yeah, okay. Uh, number four. <laughs> what happened? This is fucked up. No, it's okay. I was just laughing at Chinese. It's just, they're like, God damn it. Frustration is hitting. That's just so small. No, that's fair. Uh, number four. What is that? Game of Thrones themed Oreos. It was a Game of Thrones. Wait, so what's the difference? Uh, it says here. Is it just covered in chocolate? Yeah, it's just all. Chocolate. It was just straight chocolate. Mm. Yeah, no, no vanilla in the middle, just straight chocolate. You know what? There's so many jokes I can go with that, but let's just get there. There you go. So number three, uh, <laughs> peanut butter. So next, <laughs> peanut butter. There was a peanut butter one, and I disagree. I didn't say facts out of here. Peanut yeah. butter is like one of the best. Peanut butter is one of the best flavors. Never tried that. Oh, that's the one you had yeah. at your crib the other day. Yeah. That shit was trash. Oh, this oh. is. Oh, <laughs> It's because I had the other one. 
don't know why you like that one. That, that was, was that fire, was, yeah. That one Hazelnut? Was, that one was old. Nigga had, I, I just grabbed the fucking Oreo one day from his crib being greedy. I think it was a, like, I, th- I, I picked it up and I was like, oh shit, it's not a regular Oreo. <laughs> it's chocolate. I was like, whatever, fuck it. I'm so high right now. I just need to eat something. So then <laughs> I, I, I popped, I fucking ate the Oreo. And then I was like, wait, what the fuck? This is not, this is not chocolate. Open, I read the container, said hazelnut. I was like, this is the best Oreo thing I ever had, bro. <laughs> Dead ass. I came, I remember I came back to the kitchen, the, the living room, like, bro, the Oreos, fire. Because I don't like Oreos, bro. I don't like Oreos. Well, there you go. So, not for you, but at least for me and Oreo. Uh, no problem. That number one. two. <laughs> number two. <laughs> number two, <laughs> two cotton candy. Get the fuck out of here. So you agree that it's the worst flavor or you disagree? No, that's definitely the worst flavor. Okay, so facts. I don't, I don't need to. No, 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 I know. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's why why like, the fuck did Oreo create that? Oh, I was like, wait. That's how that's why in the fuck did they create that? Oh, so that's a big facts then. That's a big facts. Yeah. Big facts. All right, big, big facts, big facts. Nigga, this is not a fucking amusement park. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have ate that. Yeah. There, there was some little kids that, some parents that gave that to their little kid and was like, yeah, never again. Never again. This thing is fucking doing backflips. Damn, how many oranges you ate, little baby? Fuck, you left it there. Just killed the back. Let's go. Um, so this is the number one worst flavor according to this website. Worst flavor in Oreos history: caramel apple. Oh yeah, that sounds like fact. Let me see that. Let me see oh my gosh. I feel like I seen that, bro, but I didn't buy it. But yeah, most that. of these, most it's of these disgusting. were limited edition, and it looks disgusting. Yes, I guess it's a good reason why it's limited. Edition. Yeah, facts. Yeah, was, most of these were at least limited tested. edition. Shit didn't stop. I think everything here except peanut butter. We should try to buy some of those whack ass Oreos. Reduced fat. No, Cookie Dough. They said it was limited edition. Yeah. The thins, the red velvet, uh, the lemon, Trash. and yeah, those were the limited edition. So that was it, fellas. The worst. Oreo flavors of all time. I am a Chips Ahoy man myself, but I did not mind partaking in this argument because they were smart enough to throw Reese's peanut butter in their peanut butter cookies, and it tastes amazing. That's a fact. Yeah. 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 Chips Ahoy did something right. I don't like Oreos. I'm not Oreos. I'm Chips Ahoy. It's the Chewies. That's my shit. Can't go wrong with the Chewies. Chewies is where it's at, bro. Yeah, can't go wrong with the Chewies. Sometimes you get the other ones and them shits be rock hard. You're like, what the fuck is this frisbee? Yeah, <laughs> yeah but I don't know what that nigga's doing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> but yeah, how old is this pack, bro? What are you doing? <laughs> got me. <laughs> oh, shit. That's, That's true, because I I did, like, try to eat one of them, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was dumped. And I was clapped, so you were just like, the reaction is like, uh, <laughs> you gotta break the cookie. Wait, hey. uh, uh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> I was about to say, but on the table, smash right. it with a spoon, smash it with a spoon till it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Only Chips Ahoy could turn, change a chewy to a crunchy bad quick. <laughs> it's just like, yo, how did it break apart like that? <laughs> yo, the funny thing is that the original Chips Ahoy, I want to know who told them that niggas were hard cookies like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, that cookie was designed for milk, honestly. Yeah, that's what it yeah, is. Yeah. That's, that's what it is. That's designed for milk. It's, it's, they give it to you like that. Yeah. So when so you, you dip, dip it, it, it gets to a regular <sighs> cookie form. That shit is amazing. Yeah, so yo, when you, you crush that in ice cream, it's a beast. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, he's right. He's yeah. right. Oh, oh man. Man. I thought he was like, please, no. <laughs> like, no more, no more good no more, ideas. No more, <laughs> don't give me no more ideas. No more good ideas when I get home. That nigga, the minute he sits down, he changes the whole ice cream. Thing. Bro, stop, what? but I got some, I got some ice cream like this. Oh, wait, you didn't put it in the freezer? Don't worry, I want it to. Oh, okay, hey, you Bro, got it, Popeye. Right Word, it's it's water right now. Word, he's messing up my man's floors. Um, it's gonna be watering. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga want a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. They take the whole thing and manage everything. Oh, oh, my fault, bro. Oh. So anyway, we are we're gonna finish things up with our sleeper picks of the week. Shit. So, oh <laughs> my, jeez, you were doing you were doing all right. You were Yo, doing all right. I got busy this week. Oh, but. Oh man, see, I saw two, I saw two trash movies, so I can't suggest that. Okay, so for you two gentlemen, just to reiterate, it's basically something you feel that people need to stop sleeping on because you know it's underrated, it's hot, it's the new fire that people need to sleep on before, stop sleeping on before it becomes bandwagon material. 
So it could be TV show, movies, games, cars, anger, comic, comic books, whatever. You can tell them about a documentary. Anything. Doc, yeah, anything you want. So if you need a minute, I'll let my man Aston go first, and we'll go around. That's cool. God damn it! <laughs> damn. I mean, Marvin, <laughs> Marvin, Marvin be jumping into these sleeper pits like fucking. You know it's the last <laughs> after. It's a literal structure. Facts the fuck out of here, sleeper. So you should know by the time we're doing facts and fuck out of here, your mind needs to start thinking Yo, of the sleep. Right? Start getting ready. Word, it's how we end the show every episode. Go ahead. The Sky Robo joint was fire though, right? Mm-hmm. On Netflix. The Sky Robo? Yeah, that shit was fire. It's about some proxies. But... Please tell me more. It's about yeah. prostitutes, yo. No funny shit. That shit's fire. I'm like, I'm Sky like, Robo? Yeah, yeah, it's like a Spanish soap opera, but mm-hmm. they have it in English too. That shit's fire. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I was about to say. It's on Netflix, you said? Come on, man. He's on Netflix. They got two seasons now. Two seasons. Sky Rojo. Yeah, that's a fire name. Okay. Uh, Sky, Sky Rojo. So Sky Rojo on Netflix. Yeah, Netflix. Yeah. There we go. You got something or you need a minute? Uh, you need a minute? Let me know, brother. We hit. I already got my sleeper pick. You do? Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, for the PlayStation, it's all it's multi-platform. It's on the Switch. It's on the PlayStation, the Xbox Series. Uh, Samurai Jack Battle Through Time, uh, surprisingly good game. Uh, I got I lucky. to play that game. Huh? I did want to play that. Game. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it on sale on PlayStation Plus right now. It's on sale through like the middle of August for like twenty five dollars. Uh, very good game. Basically, like it's a platformer. If you like Ratchet and Clank or Jack and Daxter, even a simple Mario game, it's similar, slightly simpler, but it's still fun. Uh, best part about it for you hood people out there uh, Samurai Jack does more than wield his sword He uses his fists, he kicks And arrows Best of all, for some weird reason He uses a handgun okay. What? Yeah. yeah No, no, that's not weird, what you mean? You he's done it, it. no, no, I know he's done it before But it's just funny because it's one of the weapons you're allowed to use Wait, how often he uses a handgun? When? The last oh. season he did have a burden when, He, he when, did when, use a burden When he, when, when he fights the robots, Harley Bro, the last season in the beginning My son was out there without his sword So he was using all types of weapons Spears, whatever he had And one of them, in the first couple episodes Was that as a handgun And the game, the game does start from the last season And you go back in time And like, you, you wow. start noticing like he's not the same Jack Like he's more He's not really like that noble samurai anymore like, Yeah, because the last season That's when he went like kind of yeah, insane Yeah, yeah, yeah Because he was stuck Yeah, yeah that was wild That was a good last season It was It, it was, was so good. dark, but it was real I'm glad it was on the Delta Swim Because they could curse and shit When he brought out the burden I'm going to run back Samurai Jack No, it's real mean, Max so. I mean, I, I, I remember watching it All the way through for the most part mm-hmm. So, you know, they, didn't they bring it back recently? Where he had a he was training with a girl. That's the last season. That's the last season. Oh yeah, so then I saw I saw. There you go. I just don't remember. Just don't remember. No, I know it happened to me too. It took me a minute when I played the game. It was like a bunch of assassin. It was assassin girls, and one girl he was like converting. Yeah, he smashed. Yeah. 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 He's like, yo, come to the come to this side. Yeah, you can say that. Let me give you the and that's and (laughs) she's Haku's daughter. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that part. That was the oh, that was the best part of it all. Yeah. He was like, yo, by the way, not only have I burned you, I smashed you down. Oh, yeah, a whole lot. <laughs> that's uh so that's what happened. Yep. Big yeah. Jorge was like, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> that's what made it so hood. That's he, he got stuck in time and became a true hood dude, yo. He got a burner. <laughs> and yeah, he smashed bro. his rival's girl, yeah. <laughs> I mean daughter. Yo, didn't he pull up in the cycle too? Oh yeah, this nigga just turned straight hood. Yeah, bro. He got God. introduced to the hood and was like, "Yo, I love it here. I want to go home." <laughs> Start popping willies and shit. Yo, huh? you want some ginger? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's gotta be low key. It's you. okay. Nobody cares. <laughs> You're fine. I don't nobody cares. Nah, he was like, yeah. "Nigga, pass the ginger." <laughs> <laughs> so that was my sleeper pick. And how we looking? What's your sleeper pick, bro? What you got? We got two in the chamber. It's three more to go. Somewhere. Huh? It's sleeping. Oh, Lord. Damn. Oh, oh, man, man, Jay, well, what's up? I'm not on the front, yo. We're going to go with comments and have like all of this. Man. Whatever you want. Yo, pick man. anything, anything you, want. Nah, you want. I'm going to just like. Go ahead. Let me see. What's underrated to you? a quick one uh-huh. for other people so at least they can get onto it before it gets animated. Uh, hardcore Leveling Warrior. Um, hardcore what? Leveling Warrior. Hardcore Leveling Warrior. Yeah, that's that should get animated soon. Uh, I'm there. What's that shit called? 
It's a big word. I'm sorry. You know. It's okay. Mean. It's okay. Omnipotent? Nah. Omniscient. Omniscient. Hey. Omniscient leader. Mm -hmm. Okay. Already said I've been doing about that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you get the chance, where is it, it at? Now, where can we find it? Yes. Webtoon. Yes, we can. Uh, you know, any kind of webtoon, any kind of Korean site that allows you to. Is it anime? Man, is it manga? Nah, it's well, yeah, it's, it's Korean manga. manga. It's, it's, a, it's a manga. Man, manhwa. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> webtoon. Bro. Webtoon. Gotcha. They just call it webtoon by now. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They pretty yeah, much a lot of them. Webtoon. Especially after the sudden immersions with like uh, God of High School and that's one of them. Yeah, a lot of them. God I was Tower gonna say God, that, yeah. but that's already ending. Tower God, God, God of High School, they're all made by the same people. No, no, they just same, same format. format. Uh, Came from webtoons like and shit. And, yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah, Noblesse, Noblesse, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of good, other good ones. Yeah, there's some underrated ones on the rise. So I'm glad you pointed that out, my brother. Um, hey, going with a manga this week. Mm -hmm. Just there is an anime, but I feel it's. Not as good as the manga, Golden Cowboy. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. Reaching the final arc. Didn't yeah. I have a, the shirt last time? I think, I think, think you did. Right. So are you going with the manga or are you going with the anime? I'm going with the manga. Okay, that's fine. I feel like the manga is just superior. More information, mm -hmm. more, more detail. Oh, but no. the anime is pretty good. I like anime, yeah, I was about to say, I saw a lot of niggas get popped. Anime does hit. So do you get popped dead in the head? The oh. manga, <laughs> you're just not talking to me. Okay, I mean, it's hard to talk with something, man. Yeah, I had to think about that. Yo, we sure. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you just say they're bad chills. Just. They got popped to the head. God damn. God damn. God damn. Yo. And they keep moving as if that happened. It's just like, go, 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 go. You're like, what? Oh, in the first scene? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they just got popped. And you're like, I can fuck with it. It's just a lot. I mean, that's the first scene. Once you get past that, you're going to understand. Does the it, guy, it, it gets it gets it gets a lot it gets a lot gets, gets real dark. Let's just let's just start off that it it hooks you in the first five minutes just to let you know it got action, but it's a historical anime. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Quick question before we go to end: Does a guy end up falling in love with the, with the little girl? Yeah. That's bro. That's pedophilia. Bro. Yeah, bro. It, it, had, the, it <laughs> had those vibes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It had those vibes. No, we don't do that in the okay, no, okay. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. It just it just had those this vibes. Man, this nah. man had one goal. Uh -huh. And that's to save the, the, the chick that he loves. And he's still with that goal. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I mean, that's, that's a little bit of spoilers. Come on, man. That's okay. There we are. Well, I didn't reveal her. Yeah, you're, you're, right, you're, right, you're, right, you're right. You got to either watch the anime and read so or read. All he says in the beginning is, yo, I want some bread. Like, Andy <laughs> Hood. I want the bag, bro. I just want the bag. Sweet the Immortal. Hmm? Facts. All right, Ant, your turn, man. Yo, my sleeper You've been trying to get answers from Ralph. Nah, I don't want <laughs> <laughs> My sleeper pick, yo. Chee -chee, he's like, yo, bro, what's the answer? Yeah, what's that documentary? Yo, my, my, sleep, my sleeper pick is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I should have said that. You could have used that, honestly. I would have been bad. Nah, nah. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead. I mean, that was actually kind of fire. It was though. pretty good, yeah. But go ahead, go ahead. Well, I mean, I was going to say A Quiet Place, too. That shit was pretty Oh, good. that's fine. It's on Paramount Plus. If you have that, you can watch it for free. I saw it. I came in. I came in and saw it happen. <laughs> you said it was. <laughs> is, is that a sleeper though? I know. That's what I'm mm. saying. This is a sleeper. Good question. Now, all right. Now, what was the what was the documentary we just? I'll, watched? I'll give you credit because it just came out. All right, that's what I'm saying. Because the other movie that I just saw that just came out was Space Jam. And we're not gonna. Are like, you saying it's a sleeper or no? That's not that's not oh, okay. I was like, uh, that's, that's like Phil. That's not a sleeper. That's that's that, that's meant to be slept Will? on. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll we'll get that documentary out the way and we'll we'll talk on it for a few minutes. Yeah. What was what was the name of it that we just watched? Uh, it was a Mar Martha Cooper a picture story. Martha yeah, Cooper a picture story. That yeah. was a dope ass. A Bronx legend. Yeah. Right. Yeah. She's, she's from. I think she's from the city. I'm, from not, the city. I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Oh, but yeah. you definitely. But, but most of our pictures. Yeah. yeah. I mean, her pictures came story. from everywhere, but. The ones, the ones that was all the the, the tags, the graffiti tags, and the break dancing, it looked like they all came from the Bronx. Yeah. I would call her her legend, man. She took some dope pictures. Oh yeah, the hood knew her. You saw when she walked. When you watch the documentary, you see her literally walk through a block, and ladies come out and give her a hug, like, "Yo, yeah. you haven't been here in that long." Mind you, she went to Bronx and then she traveled to Baltimore and they gave her love. So she is known in a lot of different hoods. Yeah. Yeah. Martin, Mark Cooper, right? Martha Cooper. Martha Cooper. Martha, Martha Cooper. Cooper. Yeah, she was a thug too. She said. <laughs> The cops came. What are they gonna do? Really put me in jail? <laughs> <laughs> See, like seventy something years old. Throw me in jail. <laughs> I respect that. 
All right, so we got some sleeper picks. Ed got himself a sleeper pick, and he had a backup one, so that's okay. Um, make sure you check out those sleeper picks, folks. They are all good because we know they're good, and we tell you to watch them before they become bandwagon material, and then you try to act like you know you knew about it the whole time. But you remember when you heard it first, nerds in the hood. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, yeah. So real quick, the the Space Jam film. You saw it, right? Oh, we talk about that. We, we got a few minutes, can and then we can cap. Yeah, we got a few minutes, then we can wrap it up. Um, you watched it? I, yeah, I did. All right, before, before, before we start talking about it, who watched it? I watch it. I watch it. So three out of five. Again, right, right. I will tell right. you guys. Wait, before that. No before movies that. dot. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's on HBO Max. So. Yo, yeah, it's on yeah. HBO Max till the middle of August. Yeah, I watched it on those movies. Before that, <laughs> anybody got anything positive to say before? Yeah, I got some positives. Yeah, I got some positives. But but if you wanna if you wanna say some of that stuff, I'm gonna say because it sounds like it's two positives and a negative. So. Yeah, some of the things I'm gonna say, you guys are gonna be like, what the fuck? But it's true facts. This is what happened in the movie. Okay, so since you're our guest, you speak on it first, and then me and yeah, yeah. Right, please like don't have at all. Okay, I mean, I'm not. I don't I'm, disagree. I don't know if it's because you know I'm '90s good or whatever, but that wasn't it, bro. That that I, I ain't like the acting. I ain't like. Some of the movies, like, I didn't want to hate, hate on the movie so much because some of it was cool, but overall, like, they tried too hard a little bit too much in some parts, and then they just, like, did not even, like, it was too much fun for them. Like, it was just, they weren't serious about it. I don't know. I just didn't like it. It was trash. Mm. It was trash. Mm. And that's not me hating on LeBron. Like, just, it was trash, bro. I don't disagree. Now, what I did like, though, was like the uh, the way they did the character setup when they went to go look for all his other Looney Tune players when they went to draft it they go through mad universes they yep. went to the Matrix mm -hmm. they went to Harry Potter mm -hmm. and they get they went to Superman mm -hmm. yeah. they went to a lot of dope ass spots Rick Ooh. and Morty pulled up on them oh uh, yeah Rick the, and Morty's in this yeah, shit Rick and Morty pulled up on them yeah, yeah. nigga Rick and Morty's in this shit and then when they're playing the game they low key up. showing the audience. Nigga, Game of Thrones was in there. Iron the Night Walkers was in there. Iron Giant was in there. Was in there. King Kong was in there. King Kong was in there. Joker. And we're talking yeah, about the live Mr. action Freeze. ones. Where, like, it was a mixture Freeze. of the cartoons and the live actions. So you, you were seeing the White Walkers as their normal form. So, yeah. Like, as normal fucking armor on. Like, it was crazy. I was like, alright, that's cool. Now, the fucking team, not the Looney Tunes team, the bad team, the bad players. <laughs> that shit was fucking Montage. the villains. Wait, yeah, I was like, what? Uh, whatever the fuck. The Goon Squad. That's what they're called. Yeah, the Goon Squad. They called the Goon Squad. Yeah, the Goon Squad. In this one, they're the Goon Squad. Goon Squad. Yeah. The last bro, one, they were the Monsters. Monster. Monster. Yeah. Bro, yeah. them yeah. niggas yeah. have powers yeah. and shit, bro. That shit was crazy. They were playing some Maddie Street play point system basketball. It was There was some good jokes in there. Like, uh, Wiley the Coyote hands down had the best one. And which one was that? When he brought out the fucking horns. He brought out the horns. He, he made a machine mad fast right there. And then they because they, they subbed him in, right? True. And then the nigga was like, Oh, and he got like how many points? And oh, yeah. the cloning machine. Yeah, he made oh, the, it was like the machine. horns. Yeah, it was like, it looked like. Oh, yeah, it did look like horns. You're yeah. right. And it was, blasting, it was blasting the ball straight into the hoop. Yeah. Nigga, nigga got them like two, three hundred yeah, points. points. Yeah. He got them two, three hundred points in a second. Yeah, bro. He just, he just, he was like, they was like, yo, come in. We need something. And he was like, all right, bet. And then he just stayed on the other side of the court. And they showed doing some shit, doing some shit. LeBron's looking at him. Nigga's just like, let me get the ball. Get the ball. That was the ball in there. He <laughs> scores <laughs> three hundred points. Yeah, right. and it was good. It was good animations. animations. It was really good yeah, animation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The animation was on point. Yeah, yeah. once they went CGI, it was pretty cool. But the characters, like how they had uh, uh, Damian Lillard and and uh, Clay Thompson was water. Clay Thompson was water and fire, fire, which was yeah, weird. What fire? What fire? Uh, Anthony Davis was a, a fucking pelican. eagle, eagle or pelican. Big or something bird, with a bro. eyebrow. Yeah, uh, Dame Lillard was a robot who could control time because Dame's signature is it's Dame Tom. Yeah. Uh, the Neka of uh, she was yeah, yeah, I think she was a arachnid. She was a spider. She was, yeah, yeah, yeah. she was a spider. And Diana Taurasi, aka one of the goats of the WNBA, was a white mama. Uh, yeah, white mama. She was a snake. So that was their team. I feel like I'm missing somebody, but that was their nah, team. Oh, the sun, right? The LeBron's oh, yeah, son yeah, in the movie, son, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. so that was the team, yeah. The villain, the coach of the uh, the oh, we team, forgot the, about him too. Don Cheeto, oh, Don, Don Cheeto, Cheeto. Yeah. Don, Don Cheeto, I think did a decent job. He did a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like Don Cheeto. Yeah, he made it work. LeBron was all right. 
I feel like he <laughs> had a he had a act so over the top because LeBron's acting. Yeah, because so yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but, yo, that's I see a lot of movies. That's what I'm just watching, bro. This shit was so hard. Like the 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 animations and stuff was was eye to me. Like the whole the whole getting the character thing was dope. Mm-hmm. When I went to Harry Potter, you know I was hyped. Yeah, I was like, niggas got Harry Potter now. Then they yeah, went to the, then they went to the Matrix. Yeah, and they had Granny over there. Right, oh. that was fire. Yeah, I was like, yo, they really busting out all. It made me really think, like, damn, how much shit does Warner Brother own? I mean, HBO yeah, Max yeah, alone yeah. shows you what they own, honestly. Everything. Yeah, HBO Max shows you that they're like right up there with Disney. I mean, yeah, their the only shit. competition is Disney. Right, right, right. Because for years, that's the funny shit. For yep. Years, for years, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shows you that they, they got shit on deck. So, um, but. Nah, I was just going to say that even funnier shit is that Disney and the Warner Brothers used to work together. Long, long, long time ago. That's true. That's true. But that's how every great thing is. Lamborghini or something like that used to work for Ferrari. No, 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 no. no. Not, the nigga who created Zonda used to work for Lamborghini. Oh, okay. And now Zonda is the fucking. It, sh- it shits on Lamborghini. It's like. It's, uh, Zonda's like $1.5 million. Nigga, stop playing. <laughs> like, like, Crazy, stop, bro. Stop playing. Yeah, you, get, you, get you, you can get you a Lamborghini for 200000 Crazy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, damn. I, I will say, contrary to these two gentlemen and their opinions, mm-hmm. I actually liked the movie. I actually enjoyed the movie. I'm not going to say it was fire. I'm not going to sit here. And one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to compare it to the original Space Oh, yeah, no, you can't. You, the reason why is because... You, you can't because if you do, it's automatically going to lose. Well, it's technically, if you look at it, it's, it's technically a sequel. Movie. It's technically a sequel. Because they do follow, they do follow one thing that happened in Space Jam. In the original Space Jam, when the Monstars lost, they had nowhere to go. They asked the Looney Tunes to stay with them. The Looney Tunes said, "Fuck it, you can live here." In Space Jam: The New Legacy, who was rooting for the Looney Tunes? The Monstars, because they knew that they would die too if the Looney Tunes didn't win. (laughs) So it was, it was a continuation, and they acknowledged the fact that Jordan couldn't help them anymore. Because he was old, and then remember half time he was like, "I got Jordan back." And it was I was going to say Jordan. that same thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was so it's fun. it's technically a sequel, but what he did was what nobody realizes: is LeBron is low key, a, a really smart individual, because he called it a new legacy. In my opinion, I'm I'm gonna I'm hit y'all with a stay woke. He called it a new legacy on purpose because his whole career has been the same as looking at Space Jam Two to Space Jam One. Everybody compares Space Jam 2 to Space Jam 1 because, uh, once again, it's LeBron versus Jordan. And the main basketball argument is always LeBron versus Jordan. Who had the better career? Who's the GOAT? LeBron knows this. So he didn't make a movie to be better than Jordan. He made a movie to show you, like, I'm just as good, but this is my story. I'm telling you a different story. Michael Jordan's, and to be honest with you also, in my opinion, Space Jam 2 storyline made way better sense in terms of how they got to the basketball game than Space Jam 1. Just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. Because you got to see what I'm saying. Space Jam 1, Michael Jordan was kidnapped by Looney Tunes and told him, please hoop with us before we get transported to another planet. So it was niggas scared of getting kidnapped and they kidnapped the nigga. That was Space Jam 1. And nobody stopped to say, so wait, the Toon World is a real world? Because how did he get there? I don't understand. I'm confused. How did they pull him through the golf hole and he physically was able to get through the golf hole? None of it made sense. But as a kid, you're like, yo, Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny? That's the motherfuckers I saw on my t-shirt. I'm, I'm so, dad, take me to see it. Wait, hold on. I got to stop you right now. Go ahead, go ahead. I feel, like I, know, I, I feel like I know why they did that route. Okay. Well, I understand this is the internet era, right? So what makes sense for kids nowadays? internet right back then what was it people grew up on roger rabbit yeah, you right and shit like that and what right. was it back then you in roger rabbit and shit like that you could walk through a, a fake hole in the wall and you'll be transported to that shit right okay and that's how they would see it right that's how we would also see it right like that you have to go through uh what is it called the rabbit hole right Alice in Wonderland. no you're right 
So that right. that's the only the way wardrobe? they convey it. No. I don't know. I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to like go through something to I get transformed. That's the, the only way. You trying to what? Nah, nah. I said this. It's completely different. I said, oh yeah, like we go through the wardrobe. I was like, yeah, nah, that's the Chronicles of Narnia. But but you saw my idea. You're in the same boat of just a random way of getting there. I get you. I definitely get you. I'm just saying there's how to, a, a more of a way where you didn't have to tie up a loose end. Because if you're an adult watching Space Jam, you're like, how the fuck did Jordan get there? But if you're an adult watching this Space Jam, you're like, oh, he was like transported by like this computer shit that had magical powers. Both of them don't really make sense in a real world kind True. of observation. But in a movie, you're like, I kind of side more with this one than with that one. Because at least in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, you knew why he was able to get to the Toon World and shit. So I just feel like, and then in, in, in Ed's case, what Ed, what Ed just said, all those Easter eggs, man. Yeah, there was, was a lot of Easter eggs. Like, there was a lot. That, that kind of made the movie to me. Too, yeah, it made it like so much better. It was just like, bro, when I saw the, I'm telling you, when I saw the fucking White Walkers, I was just like, nah, they walked out. Yeah. <laughs> they went hard. But they had the Joker. They had the Joker. They had the Joker, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah they had yeah, the yeah, Joker. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 what was this, what's this actor's name? Like, uh, Nick oh, Joaquin? Yeah, yeah that that was, one? it was that. Okay. Wa- the Joaquin Joker. Oh, oh it's it's the Joaquin Joker. Joker. Yes, it was. So. They had the suit. He had the suit color it on. Was the Joaquin. But he, they just didn't zoom all the way in on his face. They did a quick glimpse more of the suit. So you understood it was him because mm-hmm. they didn't have probably, they probably didn't have the actor mm-hmm. or access to, they would have to pay. Or have to get him, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they quickly glimpsed at the fucking clothes. He's right because the Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, they had the Arnold Schwarzenegger Mr. Freeze. Yeah. Yeah. And Robin, yeah, yeah, they had the Arnold Schwarzenegger Mr. Bro, they had, bro, they, they had mad shit. random niggas. They would, they would flash mad random. Like a nigga would be shooting the ball, yeah. and you, if you paid attention, the the audience in the back was fire. Yeah, yeah, it was just fire. Right. Yeah, it was just a bunch of fire characters. I found out the game too that they they copied or not copied. That's a bad word for this movie. That they emulated for this battle. It was NBA Jam. Mixed with NBA shoots. So I mean, you can tell though. Yeah. When he showed the game the first time, showing yeah. his dad, it was definitely NBA Jam. Yeah. The niggas were playing like They NBA just threw Jam. in the NBA street when you're like crossing somebody and you get points yeah. for the cross. So it was stuff like that. I thought it was a, I'm not going to say it was the better of the two films. Both of them have their pros and cons. Um, I feel like that was really LeBron as the dad. That's what made me laugh a little bit. Maybe. Uh, Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Yo, bro, what are you trying to do? Play real games? Nah, we don't do that here. I just Basketball felt that. Life. <laughs> Basketball life. My, my only gripe really is just that if you were going to go as hard as bring in some of the elements of the first Space Jam, I feel Jordan should have been in. And I know they didn't want to go that route. I know they didn't. But I'm, I thought he should have. Nah, especially because of the was better. I don't think Jordan was If he would have showed up, if he would have showed up, it would have just shit out all of everything LeBron did in the world. Yeah. I would just been like, so Jordan better play then, like the nigga here. Yeah. No, 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 not him coming to the game. Remember at the end, I don't know if you guys saw the credits when they showed the Looney Tunes now in the, the world. Oh, because they wanted to stay with um, right, and then world, and then one of the pictures was him with Bill Murray. Yeah. So right. I'm like, if you were gonna do that, they should have had a you know quick Easter egg. And then I, I thought Jordan. I thought they had when uh, when remember when LeBron worked in, walked into Looney Tune Town for the first time. Yeah. They said population two. It yeah. went up one. I thought they were. I thought they were saying that Jordan was the last nigga to walk <laughs> but but it was just that Buzz Bunny was in there so Other things about them. That's how the movie starts off. Oh, yeah. it was just like, I was like, damn, that was kind of all right. I was, I, but my mind, my mind went to like, not that the Michael Jordan was been there, but that they were trying to say like, you know, just to continue. Number two. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the, the last thing to pull up. It's the last thing to pull up was Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> He's the last human to pull up. That's a fact. You know why it makes me laugh? Because Looney Tunes made what was that whack movie they made that had like Brendan Fraser in it or something? Oh, it was called Looney Tunes Back in Action. Oh, yeah, and it was yeah, another yeah. movie like Space oh, Jam. So that's why I started laughing because I'm like, yeah. He's saying no, I'm going to count. It's just oh, Jordan. Shit, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. 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 that movie was, was trash. trash. Yeah. Never saw it was that. trash. Don't worry. Yeah, oh, we don't have to watch. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's all we got to say about that. I, I thought it was Literally sure. his best film. Yeah. Let's, stop, let's just stop it. But uh, was it uh, was it better than Mortal Kombat? Oh! Yo, why you come back there? Because we just said yes. that's how we're going to rate it. Yes. 
Yes. You just said that. Yes. That's Definitely. Definitely. Def- oh, you missed it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the new. That's the new feature that's the new, now. That's the new rating. That's the new rating scale. Yeah. Is it better than Mortal Kombat? And the answer is yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's better than Mortal Kombat, bro. You want to feel better? Was it feel better, bro? Was it better than Jujitsu? You didn't have to see it. You could just say yes. I guess so. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, like, uh, maybe. It's better than Mortal Kombat, bro. It's better than Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Oh, you see, yeah. yeah. Mortal Kombat was better than Jiu-Jitsu, okay? There you go. Mortal Kombat is better than Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> better than Jiu-Jitsu. Everything has a lower thing on the totem pole. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you don't think Mortal Kombat is better than Jiu-Jitsu? <laughs> why is it so it's too terrible, terrible man? Oh, that's what I was like, yo, I don't, know, I don't know who got the crown, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, after you watch this, you're gonna be like, "Mortal Kombat still holding the crown." Still holding the crown. <laughs> so anyway, folks, we're gonna we're gonna cap it here, but um, we will be back here next week. Just know that we will be right back here next week on Thursday again. We're on the same time. Uh, we will probably start a little earlier because now we were able to set up and do the things we wanted to do. But make sure you check out on YouTube our, our segment called Trailer Gang. We got volume one up now. Volume two is going to be coming soon within the next couple of weeks where we just watch some trailers and react to it. And as you can see here, we're not going to be watching trailers sober. I'm going to tell you that right now. So make sure you check that out. Uh, fellas, you want to let these people know where to follow y'all. If y'all want them to check out, of course, more of your work. Um, Instigator. That's yeah. it. Type in ink, ink Stigator on IG. Yeah, it will say good. Ralph. Rob Fortis, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. I guess, yeah, so basically just instigator, just adding in a, a K right in there, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, okay. I like that. Instigator, I like that. That's cool. That's cool. What about you, man? As for me, forget y'all, don't follow me. I'm going to oh. see y'all. Oh, okay. Yes. Tell them how you really feel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, that's a, that's you don't want to you out there? That's a hood vibe. I mean, man. like, I don't want some ran- a bunch of random ass people following me. Yeah, Yo, you don't want to be famous? Nah. Yeah. He, he's just here. Bro, I, I don't think fame is all that. Well, uh, all right, Habibi, man. you came to the wrong show. Yo, That's you know what's all about over here. Yo, Habibi, we're going to open the deli for you. We're going to open the deli for you. I'll get famous for not wanting to be yeah, famous. Yeah, we're going to open the deli, right deli for you so you can be her famous. That's it. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to make a TV show about the hood. And we're gonna go they gonna be the, for your a deli's going to be the most confusing deli ever because they're going to think you an op, but you're going to be playing salsa music while making sandwiches. Let's get it right. It's not salsa, it's chocolate. You're right. Oh. you're right, you're right, you're right. You're going to have a hybrid shop, basically. It'll be, be Bodega. Like that, like that. Okay. Yo, that'll be a fire name, though. Habibi Bodega? Habibi Bodega? Nah, Habibi Bodega? Oh, that's a sour right there. Yo, that's a sour right there. Yeah. Habibi Bodega? I'm going there getting a sandwich, bro. Right. Yeah, yeah. Best chop cheese on the block. Yeah, they're going to be like, yo, I'm so confused. This Spanish shit out pizza. With the frito on the side, bro. Yeah, no. With the frito on the side. You know how you got to know it's Dominican, too? It's going to be some fucking empanadas in the window or something. Like that. <laughs> 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 Pastelas and shit. Pastelas and shit. Right there. Yeah, that's what we're going to start playing, bro. With the foil chain. With the foil chain. And you know you want these. Y'all got ham and cheese. I got. It's going to be bad, Pastelas. They got a Pastelito. Pastelito. There you go. That's what I'm saying, bro. No, oh, wait, wait, I'm gonna tell you, it's, it's man, how about the Litos right next to the lamp? Yo! <laughs> that's what you said. It's lit. We've got no menu there. There'll be those two, <laughs> those two, <laughs> two, 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 it's like, like, yo, I kind of want that. I trust this hot BB. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Put some adobo in your shit. Yeah, there we right. go. Like, when some Spanish customer going to come in, Jay's going to talk, and things going to be like, I thought you was a hot BB. Like, what? I'm <laughs> 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 so confused. That's how you get. Oh, uh, check us out, y'all. Check check these gentlemen out. Uh, check us out, of course. At Nerds in the Hood, N E R D Z I N T H E H O O D. And make sure you check out another segment we're going to have, especially uh, exclusively on YouTube, where Jorge is setting up his Instagram for the first time ever. Wow. With Aunt McGee helping him. <laughs> wow, that's a big step in stuff. Yeah. Congrats. Set it up, first time ever. We were gonna announce it. We definitely said that before. We know we did, and we apologize for trolling you a little bit. But we decided, as a group, we were going to just film it because Ed did say it one day to me, and I was like, "That's actually a good idea." So we're gonna film 
him setting up his own Instagram. It's just like Ant said, we're gonna we're gonna have a shoulder view of Jorge actually setting it up yeah, and Ant guiding him. <laughs> Ant guiding him. His name is like, London Triple Z. Yeah. No, it's not. That's not. I'm actually gonna shorten it to just G Triple Z. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Shout out to our boy Uni because he he flowed with his answer to try to see if uh, he would get that right, and he got it right. So he was the winner of that contest because we love Triple C so much. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Uni, boy. We love you, brother. Yeah. He, uh, was, the, he was the creator of that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> to it was a cheat. Down. It was a cheat. He did the smart thing. He just heard what they said. It was like that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> and put it there, and we, me and Ed looked at each other like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And yeah. here we are. We got a winner. Yeah. We got a winner. You, but you, you did the right thing. Yo, you got to edit it for your liking. Yo, you put no a spin on it. It's okay to be tired. <laughs> what? What? Who's he talking to? Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Talking about Triple Z. Oh, it's like half awake. I was like just looking over. What's going on? It's okay. What's going on? It's the light. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking a full <laughs> Deadpool ass. You got a third guest? Yeah. 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 I was like, is it yeah. nothing else? It's a fourth wall. Like, yeah. Okay. Yo, turn the cameras off. <laughs> but yeah, check us out on Nerds in the Hut and just check us out. We got more things coming. I know y'all saw the reels. They're coming. There's more coming. Trust me. More coming. And shout out to those of y'all who are uh, who are having a laugh at the uh, Ant's comment about uh, wrestling not being UFC real, and oh. we showed like eight other wrestling videos where people <laughs> got legitimately hurt. No, I mean, oh, I'm, I never yeah, said bro. that there wasn't parts that wasn't real. I just the winners are set up. No, no, we know that. That's why we. Duh, that's bro. why we. I put that clip where you were like, I'm not saying it's not real. I'm just saying it's not UFC real. So now I put a clip where a nigga got hit with a, a no, actual chair. No, but I never chair. said that it didn't have crazy. I, I, I said the member of the time a nigga got put on all the dumb tags. Oh, yeah, we know. That's why I showed you. You can't fake that, my nigga. I didn't say you said that. Yeah. I just said there was funny stuff like that coming soon. I'm not saying. We're not going back into that. No you know one. about the other one? ECW. Sabu got uh, suplexed off the back rope, landed on his neck. The dude just like literally just got up and ran to the back. <laughs> Oh, I got you. <laughs> no, for real. Dude. No, I know. I know. <laughs> so I know. The CW is crazy. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the mass transit incident? Oh, yeah. Man. That's that's for another day. So, but uh, <laughs> I don't want to take too much time with that. That's the whole thing. Right. But yeah, just know we got more stuff coming. I'll, we'll talk about that later. But uh, in the meantime, in between time, we are going to cap it here, folks, because it's the Nerds in the Hood with your boy Marv Lat. It's Sun signing up. And McGee. It's Jay with Salah. Rock Dog. And we are out of here, people. Thank you so much. We appreciate y'all. Peace.